No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. We're back with our second ever live, not live, episode. 10.30, what, what time is it? It's 10.49 in the morning. Basically the crack of dawn by our standards. Speaking of crack, I have a it's robot. It's good for you. I have a robot in my the car. The bot is in the, oh, is in the building. Look. <laughs> I, 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 I did not know that we were entering a new era of no jumper concept, but it feels like we are in the bot era. Clearly, I don't want to be in that era. Get me up out of there. No, I want to be in that era. Left. And the man, my man's yeah. ran off to Alaska to to escape the heat. Yeah. No, what do you mean? That's like <laughs> that's where that's the source. There's of course you can't. The cold you can't get more. <laughs> you can't get more icy than a last. I want to issue a mental health check live on camera for for the fans. How are you doing? I'm because sweating. it's it's been hectic, but I can't tell if you're just having fun with it or if you're no, nah, we're having going fun. through it. No, nah, this is definitely fun. Man, stop okay. lying. You was mad at AD. You hopped on live. No, nah. you was mad at nah. Almighty. They was laughing at you. Just telling right now because you was hot. They was, they was laughing Let at me. you. You wanted to call AD trash. It was on the tip of your tongue, too. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? But you really didn't. You were like, man. And they, you know, I, I kind of felt you. I kind of <coughs> felt you. You know what I'm saying? And Heather kind of felt you, too, man. Heather was really taking up for you. And she, she felt his bars? Ho- or? Or? She was going, she was gun ho well, for Well, check lush. this out. Check this she out. She really was. So everybody so check this out. freestyle. But, but so I did it. Hold on. Hold on. If we talk about that. <laughs> so I didn't freestyle. No, no, no. Let's go back until you were upset. Let's go back until no, no, the very no, no, beginning. On, I feel like we hold should on. try to talk hold about on. this in somewhat of an organized fashion. <laughs> Let's do it. It's going to be very on. difficult. One by one. I don't know what the, we could possibly Wait, so, do to make this make sense to the audience who's not yeah, really yeah, paying yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here. <laughs> let, let me break it down from the beginning. I like those high rollers, by the way. Those are clean. Thank you, bro. Um, Thank you. So, sucks. first of all. There you go. So, first of all. You're I up. just want to put it on record and say you were upset. No, no, no. T- let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Okay. No, <laughs> one mic. <laughs> let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Off top, this is amazing. Ad, very, very, very talented, consummate pro- professional as a rapper, as someone that's been around a lot of. I mean, I've I've stood in front of more battles than anybody in history. I've hosted literally. I, we were trying to do the math at one point. It's like between three and five thousand battles that I've hosted. Would you say that? Hey, you're... hey, hey, hey. <laughs> one mic. Come on, come on. Let him talk. Let him talk. And I've seen like <laughs> a lot of different rappers in a lot of different circumstances. And I and I and I knew you were talented. You know, I with your music. Excuse me, cussed. But um, but what you did in that moment was really impressive to me because there wasn't like it, it was instinctual. There wasn't even a second thought. It just came out of you really, really naturally. Pause. It was a written. Yeah, yeah, it was a written. But it don't matter. You know what I mean? Like, there wasn't... Note that T-Rell is rolling his eyes. Can you shut up? <laughs> Why are you acting like such a... Whoa, no, 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 no. no. Let, let him finish getting this off. What's, what the hell? What? He's just praising you. Uh, that's why I want to keep going. I, but, but what does that even <laughs> no, have no, to no. do with anything? No, why? no, no. I want, AD, I want him to get... AD I want him spit to get a to written. It was good. He's I, don't, written I don't feel like it was Part- Moses coming down the mountain with no. the tablets like no. Lush is making it sound right now. I'm going to be totally honest. It was good. It was he good- is a very good rapper. Yeah. It was, it, I, I believe that. And now, I would not admit that if I didn't now, say that. Feel that. AD, what was the... Do you remember what beat that, that you rapped on? What was yeah. it? But Josh pulled that up. I no, no, no. I know. I'm just curious. What was the beat called? Okay, so... I'm just asking. It's an AD type beat. AD type beat. And you definitely, and it was an old AD type beat because you've like, you're, you're like, you're, you're. I didn't even know that was type, on YouTube. Your type beat is like your, like the, the, the rhythm that you <laughs> rap to. And all. <laughs> hold on, hold on, T-Rail. Rhythm. He's right, he's right. Okay, look, look, to be fair, to be get fair. Get it out, bro. No, 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 Let's get some memes of, of his facial expression. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Les. Hold on, Les. Hold on, Les. Get it to out. To be fair, Josh had this planned. I didn't know nothing about this. The rapping. He said that mm. he was going to pick up. Um, an almighty type beat, an AD type beat, and a lush type beat, but I guess he couldn't find a lush type beat. I ain't got no so type he had Ouch. these. he had these cute. I had no idea that we were going to be rapping. I didn't go home and have nothing prepared. I didn't know anything happening until that, what, 10, 15 second moment that I was about to have to rap. No, I know you didn't. Okay. I know you didn't. 
and you you spazzed on it. And then while you were rapping, I was like, damn, I had no idea we were gonna rap. I should have been clipped up. You <laughs> Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Nah. This is amazing. This is amazing. I, I, I'm kinda, like I'm kinda, I gotta be honest, I'm kind of straight. Like, no, 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 no. I'm kind of no. straight. Because I was gonna give, I was gonna, uh, at I, the end of this, I wanna give you props. Okay, so I'm gonna no, tell you why. I'm, I'm kind of straight. Look, get, look, get, all get I wanna up. say is, look, bro, just, just say AD is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to <laughs> praise everybody every time. You feel me? And you were upset that they were laughing at you, and I was upset that they were laughing at you too. When I took broke the video down, I was like, you really couldn't get out your whole, you know what I'm saying, your your whole aura and your energy. Oh, he and, got it and all. catch it. He kept two, three times, which he did. He did he did great. You feel me? But it was just that one time that he did great. But they definitely were laughing at you. And that was disrespectful. They was laughing at you. But Facts. you definitely, yeah, it was disrespectful. You got to be like, y'all is disrespectful. Nigga. And you got to say don't that. Say yeah, but you don't come up here <laughs> and praise it. You know what I'm saying? Lolly Jolly, like he God up here. Tell him he was disrespectful, him and Almighty, and that's not cool. And you and you got yours off, but you did get yours off. Yeah, let's go. I and, agree. Yes. I thought that the tone was disrespectful. Yes, Lush's rapping leave left a little bit to be desired there. In particular, the false start, the that that was funny, that was and I can't deny Almighty or AD the right to laugh at a moment like that. Uh, but I also feel like as a group of friends, and I told Almighty this straight up, even though I know that he wasn't 100% receptive to it, as a group of friends, if you have a friend and you know that they really, really care about this one thing more than most things <laughs> in the world, which is the case with Lush and rapping, I just feel like <sighs> you kind of owe it to them to at least you know, not be like cackling all throughout, like, like running around the room. It was just extra. Like I feel like Suspect, I get what he was going with, that he wanted to laugh at you or whatever and that you did give him a little bit of ammunition but the, the overall tone of it I felt was just it wasn't friendly it wasn't hospitable it wasn't the kind of thing that I feel like that I don't think we should be approaching each other with hey, that look, sort look, of look, energy look. on this platform it, I broke it down and I was like okay disrespect to Lush Lush had a point and then and Heather was like he freestyled too and he did freestyle <laughs> but almighty did freestyle she old cuz look right. Yeah, they did. Lush won, and then I'm breaking it down too. And then me and Smack breaking it down. We look and we like, Lush did win, and then here we come. But deep in the inner of the boat, that not. But here's but on the f***ing YouTube the whole song, video and all of that sh just went out the window. Nah, but here's the thing though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's a bitch. fuck you. I went out the window, Lush. No, here's the thing. You had me take it up for you. Here's you had it. Heather take it up for you. She took a fight, AD. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> Did I not freestyle like more than half of that whole thing? Bro, you said eighty percent. Now you're going to half. I, I can't tell you an exact number, but you threw I... a couple of different little at the end. You no, know no, what no like... in, 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 in the middle, but still it was a. You changed it up, but man, listen. This is this is. Damn it. Let me tell y'all. So I did, but but that's the thing. In that verse, did I say? Because I'm talking about. Almighty, I'm talking about no jumper. I reference AD. I reference back on fig. I reference community. That's a freestyle. Coming from a verse that you previously Co used. Correct. Correct. Already. But like, go, ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. But but my but like literally, did I not freestyle that? No. I didn't freestyle. Well, you freestyle parts of it coming from a verse that you already had, which is kind of like it's a wobbler, but still we were we were going ham for you. But now, since all of that <laughs> happened. Now you minute, really gotta go ham. Wait a minute. Let me tell you, let me tell y'all, and this is my viewpoint on the whole thing, right? Yeah. So I love Lush. Even when I've I've been trolling him. KD. Having, I, yeah, I've been trolling him. I've been having fun with this. You know what I'm saying? At the expense of his mental health. Oh, it's fine. He'll be he's, fine. He's fraying. He ain't no. no. And I, I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him his props after That's I That's what I was worried about throughout this. So I was like, I hope that this does not have some kind of I've real had, effect I, on it. No, him. I've had talks with Lush. About not even just this incident, other incidents, but let me let me let me give y'all what it was. Lush has been running his mouth constantly about how great of a, a rapper he is. Can we all agree that? Yeah. He's been in the group chat. He's been saying, "I didn't did this. I'm the best." He's used the words, "Ad, you're not even in the same galaxy as me. I will dust you. You're dead." He's been saying this. <laughs> 
Right. Yeah. And that did make it harder to wait, empathize wait, wait, with him, wait, wait, for sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> let me cook. Let me cook. He's been saying this shit for weeks. Not once have I said anything. I've said nothing. I'm like, okay, whatever. It is what it is. This nigga been tweeting. You feel me? He's tweeting all my all my coworkers are dead. Nobody wants to do this, so I'm just letting them get his shit off. So we shouldn't sympathize with him. No, no, I'm not saying that. Then Icon, the he brings it up again that oh he's the best rapper at No Jumper. You feel me? He's everybody sending it to me. Then the next day I'm over there with Icon. Icon popping it. He's like I got more. I probably got more streams than Lush. We pull his Spotify up. Lush is washing that nigga Icon. It's my guy. <laughs> Woo! It wasn't even. It wasn't even close. But what, Sorry, it, bud. what did Lush do? <laughs> Lush went to Twitter and compared his Spotify with Icon. Like, man, I'm in a whole other league of you. Well, because he, he whoa, tweeted whoa, me whoa, first. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, hold on. He tweeted me hold first. On. There's a lot of hushing hold on this episode. On. He tweeted me first. <laughs> Let it out, love. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but real shit. So I'm watching this shit because people is, they sending this shit to me. And I'm like, oh, Lush is feeling himself. He getting his shit off. Now. I didn't know, and Lush didn't know, that Josh was like, I'm tired of Lush talking, so let's get prepared for battle. I think at the moment, I never once said that I freestyled. I never once said that the shit wasn't a written. In the split second, I probably had five or six seconds to think of something. First thing I thought about. If you watch the video when I'm spitting, Lush is sitting there like this. Like his head about to explode. He's like, all right, I didn't know the nigga was going to get off like that. Facts. You feel me? Real shit. Facts. He's fucking, he's, he's like, okay, I got to have something prepared because the bar is set. You feel me? So in his brain, something went to five years ago. It said, do 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 Cocaine vibe. It does cocaine, have an R2-D2 yes, vibe. Yes, no, no. <laughs> yes. The, the cocaine, the cocaine bot came out, right? Now, when he stumbled the first time, we're laughing. You know what I'm saying? Got to laugh at that. You're laughing. You can't. can't we're getting, it. he's getting his shit off. Once he get his shit off, and the way he was doing it, I ain't gonna lie. It was kind of like he was like an old man trying to rap, and he's like, uh, 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 uh. he was doing all that. That shit was funny. Now, once he did that, and we're laughing, I see him. His his face turning red like a tomato. He's hot, he's hot now. Now he's looking in his phone. He's like, I got this one, I got this one. It's about to kill him. Now he reads one off of his phone oh, yeah. that the bars was there, but the cadence wasn't there. And I think because he was so frustrated because we was laughing. You know what I'm saying? And he took it upon himself to say, well, you, f I freestyled, you didn't freestyle. So the argument the whole time was, well, at least let's freestyle. That but was it. He, didn't say, he didn't say nothing about it. He, he could have been right there like, you know what, I had a little bit and I added on to it. He was letting that shit fly. And, but in that moment, you have Suspect and AD who both are like cool LA gang hood rappers, whatever, mm -hmm. not necessarily like when you get on the mic, you're not trying to like wow everybody with like, look how I put these fucking syllables together and same thing with Suspect, even though Suspect could totally do that if he wanted to or whatever, but, and, and you could too, but like- You should've did it though. But then Lush comes in with a little bit more of a battle rap, like Eminem popping up on the Griselda record, you know, the cocaine bot, et cetera. And that kind of just like, I don't know, like I, I understand how you guys reacted a little bit because his, it, it did seem a little bit like less cool, maybe in comparison, but I still felt like the response felt kind of cruel. And also, I, oh my God, Icon walks in here. Get the hell out of here. We only got we only got enough mics for this guy right now. Look, he's ready. But Adam, oh my, I'm, he's gonna I'm, run in here. I'm with bear you when it you. comes down to that, but that's like that's like me right now, right? If I sit there and I say I could beat everybody up in no jumper, I'm slapping niggas, I'm sitting there putting it out there and I get my ass whooped. You feel me? You can't really have sympathy for me like that. And the fact that Lush acted like his shit was a freestyle, and I told him, I was like, well played. You feel me? Well played. That he did that right after I seen him getting upset. He was getting more upset. He was more upset with Almighty than he was at me. I wasn't tripping on you really No, at all. I know you wasn't. I know you wasn't. But one thing that I told Lush before is that, listen, I had to learn the same shit too. I was acting like a bitch when, 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 uh, t Rail and Duna was making jokes with me and my girl. I got to own that. I was acting like a bitch. I felt like in the moment, was Lush funny. was getting frustrated. I remember that. And he was acting like a bitch. Because now he's, instead of saying, hey, suspect, your raps is trash. You can't fuck with me and anything like that. First thing that came out of his mind was, I, I, there's some things about you I ain't going to say. I felt like nah, he, but, but here, hold on, so, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that was, that was I felt sick. like he made it more personal. And he, not, he didn't say it just once. He said it twice. So that's why I'm like, hey, Lush. I'm seeing your face right now. You're sweating. Your energy is all over the place. You're mad right now. And I know that you're saying something right now. This is not music anymore. 
and I'm going to call you out the same way I'm going to call myself out, the same way that people need to see the shit is that, nigga, you got, if you, if you sit here right now and say that you wasn't upset, you lie. I never said I wasn't upset, but here, okay. You, was you personal or not? Is, no. I want to hear from Lush on this. Is you Ooh. finished or is you done? Ooh, go ahead, go ahead. Right, right. Rapper, right. go ahead. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, AD, I don't want to take anything away from what he did. He definitely gets the W. He won up. That's like undebatable. Fuck right? the W. I don't care about that. I never said that you didn't get the W. Now, I look, so, so ex I want to tell you exactly what was going through my mind when that happened. Like you said, you start rapping the verse. It's, oh, that's not my tempo. That's not my bag. I'm more of like a boom bap type rapper. You know what I mean? Like, it, that's not the type of beats. Like, I can, I freak those beats. I can, but it's been also like you've been in recording mode. You've been working on your album and stuff. Not really. Which, well, you, okay. you tweeted saying you would destroy him. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> yeah, like let's stop throwing compliments <laughs> yeah, out. Too this many is one compliments. Thing, this no. is one thing I hate about Thank you. Thank you. Let's stop this dick riding era I, that we're in. <laughs> this is one thing I really hate about you, Lush. I really don't like that you just that you compliment like to the highest extent before you can even get anything out. Like, just say what's on your mind. Yeah, like the dick riding shit is so crazy. Like it's just it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like it's how you say things. It's not about, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can say it to where it won't hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. Like, we got pretty thick skin here. I don't like that you come in here, like, you know what's wrong with AD. You know what you want to say to him, but as soon as you talk to him, you're like, you throw out all this fucking dick right, dick riding. I've never been more proud like, of T-Rell as a broadcaster <laughs> than in this moment. <laughs> No, I'm just telling As you. As he truth. levels up in his career, he is he's learning many of the things that I feel like I've learned. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, you know, I want to tell critique. you the truth as a, as a homie. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. oh, AD, you're just, you're so, it's so adorable. I love you to death. And what you did that day, I could have <laughs> fucking hugged you. <laughs> like, nigga, don't come in here and say that. Be like, AD, fuck all of that, man. You was laughing. <laughs> I'm still the best. Your little rap you did was okay. That shit's still shit. That's what I would have told him. You know, I'm going to keep it G. I don't listen to AD, all AD songs. I don't listen to nothing Almighty got going on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep it G. I don't listen to none of you niggas. Like, that's what I be telling you. So all y'all on the same playing field to me. You feel me? Y'all all rappers. Y'all all on the same playing field. Y'all all can just, you know, be rude to a certain extent. You can throw off those fucking little rude uh, comments, but you don't have to come in here and dick ride the whole fucking... Fair, you know what? You know what? Fair, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah. With, th with that being said, I feel like the odds were stacked against me. I should have been clipped up. Where I fucked up was I should have been clipped up. When I'm talking that... Because I was not expecting to have to rap that day. I thought, like... In, in the world of battle rap or just like in hip hop in general, you plan the shit out. And that's what I was saying. If we planned out a cypher the where, where everybody has a verse and we like have it planned, I'm fucking everybody. I stand by that Paul. shit. I'm going to wash you. I, I stand by that Paul. shit. I stand <laughs> yeah. by that shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. And that's what I thought we were doing. And that's what I thought we were talking about. I didn't know that fucking Josh was going to throw on an AD type beat right then. And then I was like, but here's the thing. But Josh As, is not like thinking about the fact no, no, that no, no. you I, might not sound good on that beat. He's not like that. No, 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 no. Savvy, I don't, you know? I, I'm not blaming Josh. Right, yeah, I'm just he didn't do anything wrong. He like he it was a, the, the right thing to do for content at that moment. And and again, like like it or not, I was impressed by what AD was doing. If I thought it was trash, it would have had a different energy. Yeah, that's he, cool. He was rock. But <laughs> I'm just always ready. Right. Yeah, he was that's clipped right. up. That's a professional rapper. You're supposed to be. I wasn't clipped up. I'm thinking about what what do I have for this cadence? Like I can't just if I, I my, in my head take your I, time. If I freestyle can't right take then, your time at that moment. You can't. You got like, ten seconds. Like if you freestyle, I'm like there's it's gonna it's not gonna measure up, no matter what. And I probably put too much emphasis on it. And if I had just started freestyling right then, it probably would have gone a lot better. So what but, what happened when you wrote the cocaine by line? Like what what was it supposed to be? Because I feel like you said it wrong in the actual sessions because I didn't so, I didn't understand like how it was supposed to be being used. I, to be honest with you, like I, I could tell you, but I don't want to take away any more allure from cocaine bot. <laughs> Please give. Yeah. I think we should just leave it what it is. But, it's cocaine bot. Let me is let it me, like AI? It's whatever you want it to let be. Let me tell you this. Chat yeah. GBT and, and, and it's, it's a it's cocaine fucking, bot. It's, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Lush I'm gonna give Lush props because you know 
the Flacco situation that happened with Lush, I feel like he took that very, very hard mentally. It was fucking with him. And, you know, when we were talking, I was telling him before, I said, bro, you just got to let this shit fly, have fun with it. People going to forget about that shit. And I feel like this situation, even though he got mad in the moment afterwards, like we left out this shit, I said, Lush, I said, bro, you lost because you take it personal. <laughs> that nigga... That nigga fucking Lush went home. He's been having fun with this shit. He been arguing with people. This nigga been calling himself the penguin. He been trolling motherfuckers. I've been trying to have fun with him. No, no, no. I and, 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 I, and I commend you because I feel like you did a very great job. Because I was like, this nigga went to Alaska. He about to kill himself. I said, this nigga Lush. And you switched the whole thing around. So even we've been going back and forth trolling. You like, I'm the penguin. Batman, I'm on you and shit like that. That's the type of energy you should have with this shit, bro. Nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? You turned it around the right way. And I feel like now everybody's talking about cocaine bot. This shit's been stuck in my head. It's Nigga, stuck. you it's stuck. The whole office is like You can make it merchandise off of this shit now. You can make a whole new song about the cocaine bot. Nigga, I would come with a cocaine bot mascot shit like nigga, it's legendary now. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, just because of the way that you handle the situation. In those moments, you supposed to handle it like that. If Almighty is getting at you like you're trash, you're trash. You should have looked over at Almighty like you're, you're trash. You trash, you disgusting. <laughs> so, straight up. Like y'all should have okay. been going back and forth. I, I am like, excited what? for the cocaine bot NFT drop. <laughs> So everybody, keep your eyes. No, no, you're gonna yeah. be broke. But, but here's it. I swear. Yeah, yeah. You, you'd only buy with CX coin. Um, like, he, 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 here's the thing, though. He, here's the thing. All right, the almighty situation is a little bit different to me. I gotta keep it a stack. And so, what I genuinely believe is this: that no matter what I did in that moment, I could have fucking come out and spit a fucking Nas Nas level verse. And Almighty was going to be laughing at me and saying it's trash. Because Almighty was like, AD killed it. If Lush kills it too, and I don't rap, mm. I look terrible. Mm. Oh, that's how you felt about that's that. How, no, no, no. That's genuinely how I feel. So you saying he trash? No, I'm not saying he trash. <laughs> but I do, that's what you said. I trash. feel like he does look kind of crazy by ridiculing your rapping while refusing to rap. And I mean, also, uh, he's shouting out how many plays he has on Spotify or whatever, and you have more. I have more monthly listeners than him. Like, <laughs> I know. I'm just like, not for even, nothing. I'm just yeah, saying. And even and even in that situation too, it's like, like nigga, niggas want bro. I've I learned I've learned in, one. in Almighty Defense. Go ahead. A lot of rappers do not freestyle like that. And in, in in niggas defense, niggas don't get on here and be giving out bars and all that. They really take this shit serious. You and he I mean? doesn't have to, but I just but I genuinely They didn't freestyle either. But I genuinely even a real like people freestyle. really don't do that. <laughs> a I lot of rappers that. don't do that. I freestyle on my fucking stream all the fucking time. That that's that's beyond the point. Now, my whole thing is is that if this was a regular day and Lush was just was just minding his business and did that shit, then it'd be different. This is the fact that he been acting like he was fucking rocking. No, no, it's, but you here, feel here's me? the thing. He acting like he was King Kong. Look, look, look. look, look. Drop the ball. It was like, you want to <laughs> wanna get away? <laughs> Drop the ball. <laughs> look at that nigga face. He's like this. He's like. Let me explain to you, though. Let me explain to you. Coming from battle rap, coming from battle rap, that's just the way Pause. we pop our shit. Pause. That's, that's just the way we pop our shit. You feel me? Like everybody, you're supposed to think you the best. Yeah, you supposed. No, you're to talk, supposed to. Yeah, so that's like that, that's. But you just, can't you say you went overboard? I mean, I guess if you hella sensitive and shit, you feel. But like, nigga, you hella sensitive. I mean, in that, not about that. <laughs> Because you should have been like, popping it crazy But Suspect was being kind of cruel. Let's yeah, be no, real. Okay, so let's get back to that. Bro, and let me say that topic. Let me say about Suspect. One thing that I've learned now is that Suspect has made himself the bad boy and the target at No Jumper. I've learned that people just want to see him get his ass whooped. So if, any, if anybody back down to that nigga, they're like, nigga, y'all are tripping. Somebody whoop this nigga ass. Including Swaggy P. He <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> hey, so Swaggy man, you P better leave Swaggy to, P alone. He wants you to meet him at the gym, man, right Dude, now. Everybody else on this platform <laughs> has little to no ops. Well, I guess I would be an exception to that to an extent. But like AD comes on. He's like the first gang related dude on the channel. Doesn't really have beef with anybody. t rail Maybe a few little things, but basically nothing. Suspect comes Suspect. in. It's a whole list of people that he don't want us to fuck with, that he and, don't fuck with, that he's beefing with, that he's talking shit and that's, about. And that's the thing, too. And I'm going to be 100% honest with Suspect. 
Before he came to this platform, I'm going to keep a G. I did not fuck with him like that. Be 100% honest with you. Him and Pun was doing some business dealings. It didn't, it didn't go through good. So in that moment, I'm like, I don't even fuck with the nigga like that. Since he's been here, I've been seeing how he's developing. I've taken a liking to him. And he kind of reminds me of my little brother that went to prison, where it's like, okay, you're very opinionated and you're ready to crash out at every given moment. So I've been trying to be on some big homie shit and just like, you know what I'm saying? And nigga, I don't... I'm he's not, sitting at home. Big not, homie. No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not scared of suspect. I'm not scared of his dad. I'm not scared of no nigga that bleed like me. The minute you guys to see me... yeah, Nigga, fuck the minute AD. you see AD tuck his tail... You're going to see me on the news. That's Jesus Christ. But I took a liking to suspect, and I don't want to bro, I met his mom. I met his daughter. He's not a bad guy when it comes down to it. I just feel like in position that he put himself in, he's been having a lot of niggas attack him his whole career, and now he's sticking up for himself, and he can't be cruel when it comes down to certain shit and how he handles everything. How, how he handled the lust situation. No. Hold on, hold on. How he handled the <laughs> lust situation. Yeah, it was a little... It was it was a little extra. You feel what I'm let saying? Me, me but I feel like Lush, as a grown man, nigga, you 20 years older than that, nigga. You need to tell nigga, I'll whoop you, little boy, yeah. or something. You feel let, me? Let me contextualize. Let me yeah, contextualize this further. All right. I've known suspect since he was 11 years old. All right. His father is like a mentor to me. You know, he's like a big homie to me that I've known since I was a teenager type shit and looked up to. Um, suspect, I've always been very protective of him. If you think about it, my relationship with Suspect is longer than any relationship between any people that exist in No Jumper Pause. Um, you know what I mean? Like, we've mm -hmm. known each other for way oh, long. Pause. A weird pause. Well, I, I'm, you know, just in case. You know, it's a pre... It's a, <laughs> no, I don't know. A, a, a relationship is a little bit of a game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I needed a bit of a pause right there. So I've known this fool since he was, and I've been protective through situations that have occurred with him. When he was over here, I was really excited. I was like, yes, I was pushing his line. Um, because he has so many ops, there's been situations where I've wanted to interview people and bring them over, and I didn't do it because of, and it would have been big looks, but I didn't do it out of respect for him. You know what I mean? And going out of my way to build him up, never slander him. He's doing foolish shit, doing crazy shit. I'm not talking shit, not talking down to him. He the, the thing with Kelpie happens, I'm going out of my way to help middleman that and make sure, like, yo, Adam, like, you're not gonna fire him, right? Did I not like have multiple conversations with you about that? Like I don't remember, bro. You probably don't. You have a <laughs> you know, he has a terrible memory though about True. things like that. So, but I did. I had multiple conversations with I, you I about think, it. I think everybody said he shouldn't be. For and I'm not, but I'm just saying. So like, you saying in that moment, you 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 wanted a little bit more respect from him. Beyond that, beyond that, it, it gets deeper. So I've also, mm. I've also been in the studio with this dude, recorded multiple songs with him. Right? Never. First of all, up until like a month and a half ago, two months ago, he had never said a disrespectful thing to me ever in life. Mm. We would joke around or whatever, like, but it was, I never even felt that energy from him, but I get it. It's different now. We both on the same platform. We're equals. I never tried to big bro him or be like, you're my little dude under my arm. It's not like that. Although I did see him when he, before, when he, before he hit puberty. So you I'm, feel like he felt the, found the right time to uh, get it out of how he really felt about you? Well, no. So, so like, look, I'm, he he never I never said you was trash his he, whole life. He ne and he never said that. Like if I'm trash, right? And you're if like because the whole argument is I'm just being a good homie. I'm telling you the truth because that's what homies do, right? But you just told me the truth. You said like, bro, you've been dick. Right. But you didn't do that in a malicious way. Lush. Like you did that as a friend. And I don't even really know you like that. And you still show in love. You feel Lush, me? Lush, you're a great rapper, bro. Can't nobody take nothing away from you. You have fucking bars. You can freestyle. You can do all that shit. Hundred percent. No, thank you. Buddy. I would never take that away from you. No, you. And can't. that's not dick right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Don't sit up here. No, no, and that's how, to AD. That's how I feel about him, though. That's bro, that's cool. That's AD. Bro, he just got his ass. He just got his ass whooped bro, at one time. Bro, you you're me? nasty. Let's bro, sorry, bro. <laughs> I have, you can say what you want. I got 20 years of footage on YouTube. Yeah, okay. So like, like that'll yeah, tell you right, otherwise. Baby, that's right. See, that, I like that. You feel I me? Like, like that. Like people know you, you talk to the best freestylers in the world. A lot of them will tell you yeah. Lush is amazing. So but whether or <laughs> yeah. not. You just got your ass and, whooped. It was fine. And, and I didn't say I didn't. Like you okay. pop your shit. You feel me? Regardless, I, I, I want to stay on this topic though. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, sus. Oh, he about to go crazy. Sus. Let it out, cocaine bot. 
<laughs> R2D2 doing a line of code. Maybe that could be part of the merch. That that's kind of fire, actually. Ooh, okay, fire. so okay, so Almighty. So the or the Nintendo robot. Remember the Nintendo and robot? And you can make oh, Almighty yeah. uh CP3O. Yeah, y'all tall and shit. I don't want him to go to jail and have to see three POs. Ooh. Ooh. See, there you I go. I can freestyle. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, old fuck you, shit. D-Rail. Nah, um, That's battle rap, rap, battle rap slash old head shit right there. I like it, though. Stay on I, your I'm topic. A, Stay be on your who topic. you are. I'm 41 years old, all right? Stay Going on, on 72. Now, um, he could have told me I'm trash in all these instances. That's what a homie would do. Like, yo, I don't like that verse. That's kind of weak. You know what I mean? Like, yo, like, or... Why are you even trying to rap? The first time I knew he felt that way was in the group chat. When, do y'all remember? I think it was... Uh, oh, I'll remember. And I, this was New Year's Eve or like morning, I want to say. Or I, I remember. Maybe New I Year's started Day. it. Well, well, <laughs> well, well, really Sharp started it. Uh. Sharp posted something that he saw on the Reddit of a freestyle of mine from way back in the day. And because Sharp had called me about it the night before and was like, damn, like you're, f I didn't know you rapped. Like you're fucking crazy. You know how Sharp, you can't have a five minute conversation with Sharp on the phone. That's just, been, you know what I'm Two saying? Hours. It's literally impossible. Like, so like he's telling me how great I am for like an hour and a half. I'm not even thinking about rap anymore. I'd put that shit to the side for like, I'm like, yeah, I have music. I'm gonna put it out, but I'm doing this no jumper thing. Like whatever, you feel me? Like then Sharp posts in the group chat, like, yo, I think Lush is the dopest at no jumper. Have y'all heard this? Da, 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 da. And then, of course, look, I can understand why AD and Suspect and other people who were like in the midst of being popping ass rappers, like, would feel some type of way, like, what? Like, this old ass white man? Like, are you fucking kidding? Like, I'm. I'm fucking Compton AD. I've been on fucking YG's album and uh, the Games album, and I'm really, I really do this shit, and I'm not white. So what so, did Almighty say? I Almighty never said I wasn't white. <laughs> What's wrong with being white? Yeah. He just put the race shit on me, even though I do say racial. When you but see me, I'm white. <laughs> 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 then this fool almighty is that's the first time he was ever like, what? Lush is trash. Drake? Drake? Lush? That's the first time I ever heard that I was trash mm. from Almighty. He was in that group chat, which is okay though. We're st it's still amongst friends. So I didn't really like take it no type of way, but I was so like, you were oh, baffled. No, I wasn't even. Well, everybody was posting accolades then. That's yeah. when it got. Well, well, no, that was before. Like, I woke up because I had been asleep for the whole first part of it. And I woke up, and the first thing I see is a notification on my phone. And like the group chat going hand, there's like 80 texts in there. And the first thing I see is Luscious Trash from Almighty. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thanks, little bro. You feel me? Like, but it's still amongst friends. We're in a private setting, we're in a group chat. I, I'm not taking it to heart. We're having fun. I'm trying to pop my little shit. Obviously, they have like you know, you can't really fuck with AD when it comes to. So, oh on. my so, god! So, if uh, you compliment AD's rapping one more time, I'm gonna no, throw this I, fucking mic into the camera. I, no, I'm talking about like, look, accomplishments are accomplishments. I know, bro, you but come me? on, like, just no more. Like, it's just too much. I don't give a fuck. I, like, <laughs> like, I know you too, but it's just like Jesus Christ. Like you have spent like a combined total of like ten minutes on this podcast just describing the greatness of '80s oh, rapping. No. It's just too much. And AD he got me charged up for today. And '80s not even really that good, dog. Yeah, he's, it's not, he's cool, it's not, but I like, wasn't even talking about. You're like he's in the midst hey, of being one of I the was, most popping rappers. I was. Watching, I didn't say that. I was shit. watching TV no, at his time. I wash it up. No, but here's the. He thing. wasn't watching me, bitch. You just asked me to write you something. You want me to take it back? Did he? I was playing with you. <laughs> well, he's got to break out of his Tiger flow one way or another. Somebody got to give him a new flow. I'm going to give him a new flow. Yeah, oh. he a flow. That Adrian, that Adrian Swiss tape. What happened? And I had that Chris Run the World song. You did? You called me and said, congratulations, you got the best song on this tape. I did. And you had a song on that tape. You probably called everybody else on that tape. I did too. I called tape. everybody. I was on my last <laughs> shit. You all got the best verse. <laughs> yeah, he do my, shit like that. I was that. on my last <laughs> shit. Yeah, he do shit Not like no that. Not no more. Batman is done. My villain that arc shit starts today. That was trash too. I was, I was like, I got the best Starks. song. I was like, this shit is trash. No, I'm no, trying it. to break out my villain arc. You're owning it. You're nah, like, nah, oh, nah. I'm going to be dark Batman. You know what? Frank been, Miller Batman. I've been trying to be like, play the nice guy for like three years here. I don't yeah. give a fuck no more. Nah, you you can't help it. It's, so it's, basically, it's Lush, you nah, were just mad. So, so, so basically, you hold on. Let me finish for you because you were just <laughs> mad and upset that you just was like, damn, I did multiple songs with this thing, and he just really 
Like he could, he probably this whole time he probably was like, damn, that's just lie. disgusting. He used to I'll change be, his diapers. <laughs> I'd be mad too if I've been working with somebody for ten years. They'd be like, nigga, I always thought well, you were trash. I mean, he probably, he probably as soon as you're on a high profile like, platform what? together. I mean, but, but, he tried but, but, to throw him a bone. He probably thought he was throwing you bone. But pause. He, that, that, pause. yeah, that's a pause. No, like I was a little bit taken aback, but I still was like, oh, we having fun with it. It's just. We just amongst friends. And then he did, to be fair, he did mention a couple times on the pods, like, I don't fuck with Lush's rapping like that. <laughs> but he did, the way he did it was like, he was like, yo, I don't, um, he's like, he's like, Lush is my friend, but I, you know, I don't really like how he rap, but he's, he's my friend. But, and I tell him that. Da-da. So, and when he said that, I was like, okay, like, you, and I don't care. You could tell me <laughs> I'm trash. But it was the whole way you trash, bro. The whole way he went about it. You okay. Feel me? okay. Like, but, but what you the, guys are kind of forgetting is that there was this one music listening stream, right? And a lot of times on those streams, like people's real true selves gonna mm-hmm. come out in a way that maybe wouldn't otherwise because you're sitting there for sometimes like eight hours just listening to music. Everybody's high, everybody's kind of over it, people are getting hungry, whatever. And so uh basically I made a joke about a uh, suspect looking like fucking what's his name? Ant- oh Marty Ant- 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 Antoine Dodson. Antoine Dodson. And then <laughs> Kids, Suspect didn't wife. come at me about it, but then Lush repeated it or said something relating to it, and Suspect unloaded on Lush so bad for like over an hour. It was crazy. You I, pay good. And I kept trying to kind of like, you know, like lower Steady. the temperature and make it so that because it was getting kind of weird because you know how Lush is, is that like even when he kind of feels like somebody's dissing him, he's still trying to keep it cool to the extent where he will lather them up with praise and just fucking like sort of reiterate that he fucks with them. And it was like Lush really didn't want to diss Suspect, but Suspect was coming at him so aggressive. And then like afterwards, and, and I'm looking at the chat and I'm seeing that they all agree. And but then like Suspect was so resistant to acknowledge that he was kind of like unloading on Lush. And it also was weird to me too, because it was like, well, I made the fucking joke. Why am I not getting any shit? Because you couldn't cuss checks. This is two things you can do, man. We're gonna do the cipher and you can win that. And then you can have he your own song. Win. Look, you can have a we can have a small EP. Uh, uh, EP, and then you can put y'all guys can put your songs on there, and let's see who has the best song. I ain't writing your shit, bitch. <laughs> I want to start the recording this week of us starting these songs and stuff. You but gotta th- help me. Th- but this is you. the problem. My boy. Is that, bro, I, can't, I can't go against you. If we're gonna have Lush and AD and t and Suspect on like the same cipher or the same song, or we do a whole mixtape together, or whatever, it's just we're not gonna be able to have the energy of oh, I think you suck at rapping, and I'm gonna laugh when no, you. No, we can't. We can't do that. That that energy is not gonna fly. Like I'm sure that if you were to burrow into the minds of some of the artists on fucking TDE or QC or whatever, that there's some of them that think that. Another person there is not that great, but they're not saying it. You can't say that if you're supposed to man, be part Lush of the same just team. Man, let like his that. nuts hang. In, in, man. in battle rap, which is the most disrespectful forum in hip hop, people it's very frowned upon to not let people get their shit off. You That's, feel me? Yeah, like, right? like no one does that ever. Uh-huh. Like, so it's That's a lot. It's like for. for for no, people. sometimes they do, and, and, and in and, the crowd and, too. No, and but, that's, but and that's but like you're, you're and, battling someone. And, and as the, and as the host, if the crowd's doing that, I'm gonna calm them down. Mm-hmm. If someone, if one of the battlers is doing that, I'm gonna tell them to chill. I've done it several times. I've gotten in between gang members about to fucking fight and put my fucking you feel me. And think about when, you, when you're them. watching a battle, it's like they hate each other, or at least they're performing hatred they towards each other. each other. But when it comes time to, for them to rap. It would be very out of the ordinary for the other side to be just booing and hissing. And you can't. You, you see a little bit of that, but it's not real. It's like not, the audience not. will do it a little bit, but mm-hmm. even with the audience, it's like expected that everybody just kind of let them rap, give them a chance. Because if everybody's hating on from the beginning, it's not like there's even a possibility that you're going to be able to come off. Because proper, then, you know? and then what that does is it puts an asterisk on the situation. If he had, just, look, if Almighty had just fucking fell back and allowed me to suck. If I was gonna suck, then there'd be no asterisks attached to it. True. People would have just been like, "Oh, AD was fire, Lush was trash right there." But because he did that, mm. it creates this margin for error. So that, and I'm just using that as an example of why you don't cut off. That's a, true, bro. I just feel now that you, you, it seems like you're super, super nice. You the new target. Everybody feel like they can fuck with Lush that's, because that, you, that's you, gonna get into you don't, it. you don't stand up for yourself like that. And then honestly, bro, like. Nigga, let your nuts hang sometimes. Let me explain something, all right? Let me explain something. Like, anyone that's been following me, and you can even look up, there's articles on DJ Vlad about this shit from 2014. There's like, I used to fucking 
be out of my fucking mind. I would sl I've slapped people at battle rap events before. I've had people stomped out at battle rap events before. Me and the homies have run up on fools over like like this is all documented shit. I used to be out of my mind and a lot of that was fueled by drugs cuz that's not my character. Like I'm a really peaceful person. I'm not a fighter. I'm not aggressive. That's not the way I get down in my essence. I don't like to fight, you feel me? That's not fun. I didn't come on this fucking podcast to prove my masculinity and to fucking flex on people. So when all these fucking Neanderthals wanna bring it back to fucking catching a fade, if I don't Whoa. say something they like, man, that shit is fucking played out. Let it out and I'm level. hella fucking sick of that shit, dude. Let it out. It's no really fighting, fucking yo. corny. It's really fucking corny, you feel me? So, so first of all, there's that, all right? Um, I do feel we should conduct ourselves without like, having to do like, that. Like, shut the fuck up, because no, he was laughing too. So I'm, was not, trash. I'm, not trapping on, I'm not tripping on him laughing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not tripping on what he did. He, even like, even when he like was throwing in little ad libs on the second verse and who writing a little bit, <laughs> like, which was which was distracting me and throwing me off. That's within the realm of acceptability. Mm -hmm. When you're like, when you're battling somebody, you're freestyling with them. He's clowning a little. He's getting his shit off, but it what he was like respecting the boundaries and respecting the craft, you know? And this isn't just almighty. People been fucking uh, stepping to me out because they know I'm not doing that shit. Poeta Flacco. I'm not here on that time. Flacco though, I, as, I do feel like Flacco was out of line for that, but at the same time, I feel it like he's more justified than anybody else. I also go I on record. I wouldn't challenge you to the fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'll go on record to say this. I fuck with Flacco more than anybody at No Jumper at this point. He's like the person I'm closest to at No Jumper. Damn. Like, and, and because he like really like shows me love. You show me love, you'll hit me up when things are going bad. I fuck with you too. But me and Flacco are on like a really good level. We gonna be doing a lot you know, of fuck with I fuck with T-Rail. <laughs> I, I genuinely... I it's don't, a given with me, man. But we all have I, been trying to figure out if you, like, hate Lush or if you just have, like, a little bit of an axe to grind with him. So I, it's interesting that you did kind of but fully is, call him out I'm for glad, something today. Yeah, but I'm glad he's saying that. I, and I only fuck with him because I see that it's easy to fuck with you. Right. Mm. And I press your buttons and I do different shit because I want you to fight back. Lush, what you know what I mean? oh, when I look, When I do shit to people, I want you to fight me back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So when you get into that mode to where, oh, you can you can start calling me names or saying fuck you and then you get my reaction and I laugh it off, I want you to be comfortable with that. So mm -hmm. and I feel that in you. You feel me? Then I feel everybody else fucking with you and doing that. And like I, I told all everybody else, you know, I try to lead by example when I do shit like that. I kind of laugh uh, serious moments off. Or when I see motherfuckers want to fuck with a different pe person or bully them or poke at them, I kind of like fuck you, with them you too. You go the other side. I joke yeah. with them and fuck with them. And but then, then, I, then I want them. you to, yeah, I'll defend them too. But I want you to kind of like give me that energy back so you can kind of learn how to give everybody else that energy back. Because because if you let motherfuckers keep poking you all your life, then you just go blow up and then you'll, you'll fucking just be a fucking serial killer. But you know no, what I'm no, saying? No, like, no, we don't no. want you to come over so, here and shoot this shit up. And look, you human too, bro. Like, we all fuck up, bro. No, no, but here's the this thing. This nigga T-Rail said, <laughs> look, he look, went look, it almighty look, crazy. Look, yeah, yeah. No, so, I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Fuck your mama, so, bitch. So, I'll never talk uh, to you again. It's not like You're I didn't. You're a scumbag. It's not like I didn't grow up roasting with the homies and all that shit. <laughs> But when I got sober, and this is what I was leading up to before, when I got sober, I had to recalibrate my whole entire thing. And I've been fucked up for so long yeah. that I didn't like, I don't, I'm like super uncomfortable. I'm just getting more comfortable. Yuri in the motherfucking building. Um, I'm just getting more comfortable in my own skin as a human being. Like mm. I had never like, I didn't know how to like kick it with homies sober. I didn't know how to talk to girls sober. Like I had to learn how to fucking like have sex sober. You feel me? Like I was so used to being been fucked up since I was 12 years old. So I had to change my whole entire energy and it really made me very docile and non-confrontational. And because I used to crash out so quick up until the moment I got sober that when I was sober, it's like, I'm not, anytime there's been a, um, an issue pop up, and this is like what they taught me in rehab, I'm trying to talk it out, I'm trying to hear people out, I'm trying to express my feelings, and then at a certain point, it's like, damn, I've gone so far on the other side of the spectrum that I'm fucking soft now, you feel me? Like, And that has made me 
a target. So no, but, you're not soft. You're not soft, and you, you and you know, I, and I feel like Almighty ain't doing shit malicious. He just he just talking aggressive ghetto. No, nah, but but LA uh, nigga, that's just who he I is. Feel like the, feel the cipher was a little. Uh, was nah, a little no, malicious. but here's the thing. Malicious yeah. seems so like a good word for it. So here's the thing. <laughs> well, I think he got a little irritated. Because if he felt like it was a little personal, but you, you still can, but, but you look, still can he, get out of and there. Let me clarify we gotta get that. Gina here. She and, makes and, eh, rap. And, and and let me clarify that because I talk, when when uh, suspect and I texted this weekend, I said to him, I was like, "Here's the thing. To me, rapping is something that I take seriously. So if, if you're talking about my rapping, like what I, I feel like we're all rappers. So if I'm gonna talk about your rapping." That that you would take it personally, and it's things that. So when I said I could say things about well, you, it's gonna show and prove. But, but I hear people say it all the time. So, so when I, so when I was <laughs> when I said to like suspect, I could say things about you. You know what I wanted to say? I wanted to say like, oh, you're talking about you got 60 million streams with no features, but you got fucking songs with Blueface and Frosty, and those are your most. You should have said but, that. But that's what. Why you didn't say that? Because I didn't. Because the way he jokes around, and it's not like, bro, you're you're. You're a hood dude. You're a hood dude. When y'all roast, you don't fucking get as yeah. Like it, he has a different energy where it's super unhinged and it's not fucking regular. And you could say that's the way home. We're not on the block. We're on a podcast. We're in front of fucking millions of people. So now he got to rap first, now. No, he, the the first time, the first time you want to really express that I'm trash, you do it in front yeah, of bro, but millions somebody, of people. No, no, no. Hold on, go ahead, go ahead. hold on. And then on top of that. You, the laughing is one thing. If it had just been the laughing, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it now. But then he goes off and just like you were the f like the most awfulest rapper of all time. Man, he kept talking he, about it on his stream afterwards I, too. That, that's a whole other thing. Anytime, anytime I need a laugh, I go to your Instagram, and it's so crazy yeah. because he said that. <laughs> yeah, he said. Yeah, he said watch his music video. Oh, yeah, that was no. wild. Which, which wow. by the way, I gotta thank him on because literally. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That video went from fucking like five thousand views to like twenty two thousand views since he did that. So it, it, it is kind but of. But look, if somebody and is most people that see it were like, "Wow, this shit is fire! It's way better than any music Almighty has." I can't Woo. believe he was talking shit. <laughs> That's not me saying it. And here's the thing: I don't like those comments. You can see the comments that I've hearted. I don't like anything that's talking Ooh. bad, bad about him. Be very careful with what comments you like. I'm, I, I'm very careful with that. I don't do that, that shit. Well. Yeah. I don't do that I'll shit. I'll be liking and unliking once I read the end of the comment and they say, fuck it. I'll be doing that too. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? So, like, look. I like him all. I just feel like <laughs> as, as someone he knows, like he... And like he knows that I'm not aggressive like that. He knows I'm not gonna like if it comes down to it, like if you're roasting with the homie and blah 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 blah, gets to a certain point and y'all are gonna fight and then it's all good, you're gonna be friends again. Like he knows that I'm not built like that. He knows that that's not what type of time I'm on. He already knows like like he after the first incident happened, he's like, Oh damn, I know my daddy's gonna tell me, like, man, why'd you go at Lush like that? Blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? Then so there's that. Then he did it again. There was another instance like that. Then like when we're all roasting, uh, when you and House Phone were making up or whatever, and me and AD were like making little jokes, and Phone gets mad at me and he turns up on me. And then fucking Pot Lord turns up on me. And it's like, damn, at what point, at what point do I just need Bro, to you just gotta knock a nigga out, bro. But that's but, but no, no but why, that, why would you say that? That's absolutely just not it. Shut up, cut down. No, you're being serious. No, no, I'm not being serious. No, but let's on some real shit. But no, like people... that, that's not, I have a fucking legacy. Of no, years in the game. Exactly. And I'm not gonna allow it to be ruined by this place because I love this place and I love doing this shit. And I'm not gonna become like the laughing stock or the joke because like because I'm not trying to lower my vibration to the most base level. That shit is lame to me, fool. And if that's and like I said, if that's the case, bro, as soon as somebody is hidden below the belt, bro, you have all right to say whatever the fuck you wanna say. Mm. Real shit. But the thing is, is that there was like an inequality in that moment where I felt like Suspect was saying the meanest shit that he could think of to say to you. And meanwhile, I'm sure if you really think about it, you could think of some fucking OD shit to say to Bro, him. Are you kidding? That you were not saying because you have this sense of respect for him that he was not really giving to you. And we all know that if you were to say the most dis disrespectful shit you could think of, that he probably would have gone a little Kelpie on you or some yeah, shit. He would have lost his and fucking guess, cool, and man. And, and guess what? And not wait, only wait, would on, I get on. hit, but he would have gotten trouble. And we all see which exactly. I don't want. And I don't want him but to lose his job. If, if somebody is not giving you the respect that you feel that you've been, you have a relationship with this person for 12 years, that's like right now. If he would have laughed and did all that and you felt disrespected and you would have said, oh yeah, you got blue face and frosty on the shit and he would have got mad and he would have tried to do something, bro, 
he would have looked more like a clown than anything because it's like, niggas, wait, you laugh at me and go crazy, and as soon as I say this shit, you want to get your panties in a bunch? Adam probably would have fired the nigga, bro. And then, nigga, they would have been on your side 100% saying, let's, let's stay They up already are, years. though, to be honest with you. I and wouldn't then, say that. I would I, say I, the I, audience <laughs> seems like they... I mean, from my look at the comments, I felt like most people felt like you were done dirty in that situation. Yeah, they already... Until they found out you fucking... Cocaine bot. Yeah, you fucking... That's you the narrative. Oh. No, and, and, and you... And, 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 and honestly, like, since we're... like talking, truth. Since we're doing real talk shit, <laughs> since we're doing completely real talk shit... You definitely advantageously took advantage of that when you know damn well Duh. I freestyled most of that shit. You, you definitely me? advantageously, graciously, <laughs> graciously. Lush. Bottom line, you acted like it was a freestyle. You shunned me for spitting the written. I did and freestyle you, and though. You, and I did freestyle after though. doing what, Lush? It's like seven bars. Man, look, check this out. I, I just pumping it up and yeah, nigga, I'm gonna so, take advantage so, of the situation. Exactly. Of course. Hopefully, you win the whole little battle over Almighty, so I can just be on Almighty ass like nigga. Lush got you, nigga. Lush, tow your shit up. Pause, nigga. You see, you nigga. see, bro, at the at for content, bro. Like nigga, Bad we're going podcasting. to we're going to exploit Shut this. Shut the fuck up! I'm doing something. Yeah, you on your phone? Oh, ass. I'm doing something important right now. Shut the fuck up! No, Bad nigga, you over there. Bad podcast. Cocaine box. Yeah, it was you us. guys you all look at your phone box. for no reason. I'm doing something important. Shut the fuck up! He's on your talking shit to his right fucking now. perk dealer. I feel like I feel, <laughs> I feel like cocaine bots harder than any song fucking T Rail had. So we're keeping it a stack. Fuck out of here. Way more, way more footage. Way more photo. Baby Tiger right there. He got no like nobody. No one really. Let's be real. Literally, nobody ever listened to T Rail. He had that one when he was riding the bike. A AD has actual curry, fans. Curry, get your curry pop. I'm willing to believe that Lush might have some fans. T-Rail never had fans. T-Rail like riding with the bike. Bro, T-Rail? the Golden State. Come and get your curry pop. He tried, he tried to get it. He T-Rail. He's not even barred shit hey, up. Hey, nigga. That yeah, nigga like Addison, let's be honest. Nobody's listening to T-Rail. I like that shit, though. I like that shit, though. T-Rail got, like got, shit, though. T got killed on a track by, <laughs> honey, by honey cocaine. Man, fuck out of here, bro. Time. But T-Rail, the shit he got with, um, Time. I am suing RJ is hard. And I killed that. All right. We're talking slow, had, though. I had help with that, too. I think <laughs> I, I only li see, see, right there. We could have a whole episode about that. You Shout got out a life. writer. Oh, life did it. Shout out life. He Ooh. helped me put the bars together and make it, you know, get the cadence together with me. Shout you know, out to I had to life, go. man. Shout, Shout out life, man. No, I but, just, but I was just but looking at his Instagram. I, and, and that's what like made it more funny to me because I was like, I know Lush. He's like a battle. Like, I look at you like battle rap royalty. You feel me? I fuck with you. No dick riding. Like, so when I seen that, I said, okay. It's time to attack this nigga. You feel me? And it's for content at the end of the day. Exactly. But not at the expense. Like, I always will make sure, like, Lush, you good? No, we had fun with yeah, it. Yeah, we and had like, fun. Because if I thought she and, wasn't and mentally, I, like, sane to do that, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pump no yeah, shit up. All right, so let me just put this out there. I, the reason why I was texting, if you must know, is because I was hitting Josh up and saying, we have to make this cipher happen this week. We have to start doing it. So my question is, since I think that this has to be the cocaine bot cipher, for sure. Boom. Who's going to pick the beat? I think you should pick the beat. Nah. That, I think that you should do the hook. But are we going to be able to- You don't have hooks and We're not going like to be that. able to get Almighty- Oh, yeah. Is, there's no hook, right? All right. Well, whatever. You should be able to go first. But Look, are we going to be able to get Almighty and you and you and you to all- Are you going to rap? Uh, if probably, we do a cypher. I'm going to help him. It, it counts, though. Okay. But I'm just saying, like, I mean, that's solid right there. We have four or five people a on it. One. That's a solid cypher. But- how should we go about doing this? Because I want to get this shit in in effect. Look, look, we can ASAP. Do, we can do this. We can make this a special stream, right? We can pick a fucking day. We can have like five, ten beats. We can actually let the people at home that are producers mm. submit fucking That's beats a good to idea. Josh. Because That's I asked Josh idea. today, and he said that the only thing that we need is to have an engineer on deck, and we just need a producer. You got built. Right, so we we just need a producer to come in and do it. I could, we can probably think of ten producers who'd be down to do it today. No, no, you know? we can we can incorporate the people. If you a producer, submit some of that shit to Josh, Mikey, Josh. Everybody can sit there and pick. We could pick. I want to say to start five fucking beats. That's gonna you be tough. Me? We should probably have the producer on hand because with no, the, with the recording arrangements and shit. Yeah, but if they bring beats, I'm just saying like if we are getting beats sent in, we're realistically not here's gonna want to we record. Here's over what those. we do. But that's all technical. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whatever. We're gonna do a long on, session where we record. Yes, but guess what? Right then and there, each person you give them thirty minutes. To be fair, I don't have to have 30 minutes. I can freestyle that shit. Okay. 
30 minutes? We can give everybody 30 no, minutes can't. to write. So for each in. song, it's two hours of recording total because each person gets 30 minutes? Give them 30, give everybody 30 minutes oh, to write. So it's written. So so we're doing it. Written. Yeah, no, 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 no. But you have half hour. Okay, well, hold on. You have so we're doing it. So it's like a cypher song. It's a posse. No, I, I say we it's do a, a long cut. stream where we try to make an EP. We try to make five, six that's songs. What I, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. Lush, okay. Lush, me, Lush, like all, the, all the rappers at No Jumper, you get the fucking beat. We put a timer up there for 30 minutes. All this shit is live. Because let the chat go. Let them do that, right? Everybody goes in there. Knocks they shit out, and then you can let the people decide who had the and, best and verse on the song. And if you do four or five like songs, then that's good because you could you could be not the best on one beat, but then you got a couple other songs for it to average out. So we could like, it, I think the fans will really listen to that shit over and over and over to really have a real and opinion then, about and who's then the at best. The end, and then at the end of the whole fucking stream, we can. Have the shit out right there, and we could put that shit up on a mixtape and put it on DSPs, yep. and they watch the whole thing live. Nothing to be cool. And think about how much the, shit recording an EP live. Yes. Well, look at us. We just did a two-hour fucking or hour-plus conversation about them freestyle. You guys freestyling together for like ten minutes. That's like, content. It's, yeah. it's infinite shit to talk but, but, but about. He, I think it'll be worth thing. it, bro. So, I can knock. I can knock out them five no, no, songs no, no, easy. I, I, I you can do the that drama shit. era yeah, yeah. into the rapping era. Yeah, yeah. And Almighty, check this out. And if Almighty, you can't say nothing. You gotta do the same. He can do it too. I've been. Not show I've up. been in the studio with Almighty. He can knock he's it out. Really fucking but he's gonna good. be like, I don't want to get on a track with Lush. He whack. We already <laughs> have that's the fucking... case. You can't say nothing here. Look, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, that's a dope idea, and I'm down to do that. What I was originally thinking was we all choose a beat that we fuck with together, bad podcasting. And um, we all um <laughs> You stopped texting like last week. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Okay. We all we all we we all pick a beat that we could all agree on. Everybody has like four or five days to write and memorize a verse, and then we all wrap it together. I have an even better idea. Womp um. Even better idea. And shout out to my guy, Doughboy. You see Doe what I'm Boy, saying, though? Because I did, um, he, had a, he has a show, I don't know if he's still doing it, but we can have the fans come up with the fucking um, words that we can put in our verse as well, You too. already do this on stream, right? Yeah, we can for sure do you that. Are, bro, it's all type of ways to do it. But I'm down for whatever. I know I'm going to deliver. And, but this is the other thing, too, is that, you know, sometimes when they do the cypher, it's just like, oh, here it is, a music video. It's all focused on this one thing. Look at everybody rapping together. But I kind of like the idea of doing like a full day EP Let's do stream it. Let's do and it. then pick the best song and then that we record like a cypher style Let's video for, it. right? Let's do it. I say, do it. I say we do the whole thing live. Let everybody see everybody in their element. You feel me? Right there on wax, can't nobody say, "Oh, they went home and did this and did nah, that." I, I no, like nigga, that. you got thirty minutes right here. I like it. Whether you have it or not, if you're not done with your shit, you weak. Let's move on. We're gonna go to the next song. Yeah, because on stream, if they know that they just have you to can't wait, say nothing. wait another twenty minutes, and you get yeah. to hear Lush's verse, that'll create like a real sense of anticipation. I think it'd be dope. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm with it. So now, just to to put the nail in the coffin of this conversation, right? Cause like Almighty's still my boy, you know he's he's family no matter what. Even if we're not getting along, like I do love that fool. Now like when the shit escalated and if if he took me out of context and it wasn't only him because you thought that I was saying the same shit too. You thought that I was making a person. I wasn't. I stand on it. I wasn't like you know and I and I stand on the fact that I wasn't. Whether or not people believe that, and I feel like that was a great opportunity for him because he knew he was kind of doing a little bit much to then get OD. And gaslight me. And I feel like I was super gaslit. And then, like, from an L.A. perspective, Buster, Weirdo, come on, fool. Like, yep. that's super O.D. You might, like... And, and honestly, to me, when that come out, you got to handle your candle. Th that's what I'm saying, Because he would have like, said that to me, I would have been Kelpie and him. But he, he made a good point. He's like... Am I really just going to be able to get on camera with him after that and act like it's all good? Like, I mean, I'm not saying that you guys need to fire anything, but I Man, feel them like niggas he, known each other twelve but he years. He should acknowledge that that shit wasn't right. I think before I, you guys are able to do shit on I, camera I again, do right? I feel like he should, especially when then like he had, then him and his little homies go on the the, the stream and like spend another half hour roasting. And his which, homies talking about, oh, I, I want to pack them out. I guess <laughs> shit like that. I'm like, wow. Which which he's by the it way, worse. which and the kid just asked me for a dollar for the vending machine like five <laughs> minutes before that. He's like, Les, you have a Let dollar. Let love one. No, this literally <laughs> happened. I'm like, I know, I know, dude. You feel me? I'm like, damn. Like, but but then that's the energy. Like, bro, that shit's. Kind of fucking strange, dude. And there's a reason why that fucking video has four thousand dislikes mm. to, to one thousand likes. And to you be and, like, and, and, and to be fair too, he did say sometimes he goes to his dad and say that shit is trash. 
does he do okay but he, he might go to his dad and say that when they're in the room together right. or he, true would he go to his dad's show when Damn. his dad's performing like trash yeah, like we're been at his, at his dad's shows that's not what it is like and look at the end of the day it's all love that shit i feel was very excessive and um but at the end of the day here we are. But do you think that Cocaine Bot is legendary? Cocaine Bot is legendary. But do you think after going to the top. 12 years of y'all having your relationship, y'all can't just get on the phone now and be I, like, nigga. We can. We so have, is, is he not reciprocating that same energy? So so what happened? I texted him the other day. I was like, yo, could we just like chop it up, fool? And then he was like, then we clarified a few things real quick. And he's like, we good. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we not beefing, it's fine. Which is his way, like me knowing him, that's his way of like making it chill, but to me, that's not 100% sufficient. I would like some kind of like public acknowledgement just based on the fact that like, bro, like I love you. What the fuck? Like this shit's kind of weird. Like, like we're supposed to be fam at the end of the day. And everybody so, should, if they're going to work here, should be able to be on camera with each other. We shouldn't have this. I don't want to not be on camera if it's, with If him. it starts getting like that, that shit is weird. Yeah. He ain't doing that. I don't want to, like, I'm not requesting to not be on cam with him. However, like if we are going to be on cam, I would like the air to be cleared, at least. I do, like, and I felt what he said. I didn't see it till this morning. There was a, a clip, it was him, Icon, and Yuri chopping it up, and he was like, because Lush was popping it so much, I was laughing That's at him. That's how I feel. Which I felt, but I still feel the way he went about it was just like, he put hell extras on it. But to be fair, like, I, so I wanted him and Flacco to be able to be cool together so that it's not some weird thing where it's like, oh, Suspect is streaming in the middle of the day and then, like, Flacco's doing another day and they can't be together or whatever. But I don't really see a lot of signs that they're willing to get past that. But that makes me think about the fact that Flacco went on pod with Swifty Blue and was talking about Almighty. Yeah. And I know Almighty <laughs> was pissed about it, but I don't think it ever got brought on camera. I don't think he ever really talked them, about it. Them two... They both go back and forth yeah. doing shit that I would say, ah, it's not cool with each other. You know what I'm saying? So that one I could see. And and the situation is different too because they did have a show together. The way that it was handled wasn't handled the right way. I can see where, you know, the frustration would be on both sides though. Bringing Almighty in has created a lot of interesting social dynamics. Bro, there's the literally there's big interviews that I did not do. As name them, um, I don't want to say because I don't want to put out there certain beefs that he has. But I will say that there was someone who he didn't fuck with that Adam wound up interviewing. I will say that Swifty Blue, and, and I was gonna do the interview <laughs> first. Who else gonna and do? it's like a big up and coming rapper from out here, hmm. and I was really excited about it. And we had been talking on IG and all that, but I was like, because the homie don't fuck with you, blah 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 blah. And I have other homies from other sections. I don't even want to get into too many of the details because that's not for the people to know. You know what I mean? But yes, I will say that. And he knows it. You feel me? Um, so yeah, that's essentially it. And um, it's going to be interesting that this is airing later because I think something's going to happen tomorrow on the news. Um, right, who's on the news tomorrow? Him? No. Yeah. I'm just I'm I'm going to say it. Lush got bars for oh. everybody. Yeah, he's yeah. about to let it unleash. All he's about to go crazy. All Everybody gets, gets it. Fuel. See, that's Everybody why I feel like it. when we do these in the morning that we should be trying to get them out by 6 p.m. that night. But I also feel like if we do that, that people are going to be fucking... Like, that would be good because then it's like, it's not live, but it's like six hours later. So it's like, not that much shit's going to really happen. But it's like, if there's some crazy shit that happens with Lush on the news and then this comes out a full six hours after that, damn. But I think it'd be mad as fuck if we just put this out of Monday tonight. I think we should put out just so tomorrow That's what they I'm be saying. prepared for Lush to yeah. unleash hell. So I'm already looking at me for. I've man. already heard it. <laughs> he's he's going in. Dang dog, you what? Why, what you? What I just, just know? You was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Get your you shit too. off on the music. Look, Bro. he's over there. Oh, Every you were talking about Fat Jack before. No, I wasn't talking about oh, that. That's another because that he fucking pulled up a a diss song from a, a crip rapper like talking I, shit about. Every fucking gang I, in LA, some crazy shit. I never heard it before, but he played. Song. He played it on who, who, who? stream. You know, Fat Jack. Yeah, put me on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he hard. But yeah. he he played the song, and like we just like we didn't even think. Oh, like suspects over there just not feeling it at all, and then He's we realized dissing, like the song's dissing Bloods and shit, like in different sets. Like, mm. but it's just like it's like a LA drill song or whatever. Yeah. But then yeah, but then Sus was like, oh, I don't get along with bro. Da, 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 da. Just know, Lush got 
Let's just come. He got some shit. I'm proud of him. I mean, the like, cocaine bot in rare form. Look, I I didn't want to have to do this, but my masculinity has been challenged too much here. My mm. my rapping ability has been challenged too much here. Mm. My pride, my legacy, and if I, I gotta fight back, just know, support. just know, you're gonna be sitting next to T Rail. Yeah. So T Rail laugh. Yeah. He ain't sitting next so, to me tomorrow. Yes, I, he is on the news. I ain't booked tomorrow. Oh, he was. I'm booked tomorrow for Sledge Lords. Oh. oh, there you go. Our first ever African American guest. That's a weird ass. Uh, that's a <laughs> very. That's are, you <laughs> gonna, are you gonna tell? Uh, because you gonna tell Danny Mullen all that shit you said before? What did you say? You don't want him to rape you or something? No, he said he should have slapped the shit out of him. He should did all that about the Martin Luther King mural. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him Danny yes. all that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's make it spicy. I'm gonna have a yeah. I'm have my whole my. Thing I'm not being here. peaceful no more. I'm just gonna let it all out now. Danny, Danny got Danny know a lot of little moves. I sent uh I sent I sent Adam. I said my homies know these same moves. They be yeah. practicing. No, so I'm gonna T, bring them with me. Bring TF. <laughs> I told him. T, he, wait, he, he said he he, he said he does jiu jitsu. Get, bring TF. I, that was TF. Oh okay. You didn't you wasn't even looking at the video. No, huh? I didn't want. What, you sent me a video. A video on Instagram in the DM. He was like. He'll smash those dudes. Oh, okay, yeah, now I remember. Uh, but yeah, that no. was TF. I'm, I'm, I'm Danny Mullen's jujitsu manager. So anybody who wants to fade with him, just let me know. I'll be uh, Man, arranging him, regardless of belt. TF, TF gonna fuck him up. <laughs> what belt is he? I don't know. Crip yeah. belt. Crip belt. How much, yeah. blue, how much he weigh? Blue bandana belt. <laughs> Danny's like 160 pounds. How much he do? Oh yeah, Danny's gonna get took down. Mm. TF got some size on him. Yeah. Well, it, it goes depends. A long way. It depends on how you know how experienced Danny is. Though. But how would you feel if Danny Mullen, with his white bisexual limp dick energy, if he, if you were just watching him just crank a Crips arm back, tearing the the tendons we gonna pack to him shreds? Out. That's not how that works. It's, it's jujitsu. You got to respect. No, nah, we gonna pack him it out. It just no. depends on who, who who it is. Your friends, any of them. TF. Let's say Danny spars with him. And eventually secures the rear naked choke. He's squeezing the ventricles on his neck are and about to ref? explode. It's There's no ref. It's just you're supposed to tap out once you're about to die. Go tap out. How it's you a gonna street feel? fight? No, it's in a, a, ju a jujitsu dojo. Les is contemplating his bars. He's like, let me switch these up. <laughs> no, <Nah, man>. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. I see your face. It's just crazy. The first ever African American guest, bro. That's well, we're only so like that sounded so we're, weird. We're bro. only twenty four episodes in. Everything African you say is weird. You are African American. The, I love that the diversity and equity officer of this office is, is letting American. me know that I'm wrong for having a black person no, on the I'm, podcast. You're really damned if you do and damned if you and don't. You know what? You and don't. You, let me, Somehow let me, I'm racist for bringing in some color. And let me point this you out said too. African American. Let me point this out too. You better have is a lot of bars accurate? for him because he like messing with you too. Oh, Show did. Oh, How did like I mess with, with you too? Oh, you sent him. He on, like, he you like, sent him on a mission to fuck with uh with, with Flacco. Listen, he I, almost he, got his he ass like, whooped. He likes talking over you. I he, told he, he loves he loves going. Listen, and say, you know uh, he called you strong man. Point. Yeah, you I told, tear this nigga. Listen, yeah, get I told on his him ass. to get to the bottom of the Flacco situation. I did not tell him to do it the way that he did it. <laughs> you got that backlash because of the way that you did it and the fact that you had Gina and suspects sitting there full of hatred and anger towards him that made it look even more crazy. you see crazy. what his whole ass did? The higher-ups told me to do it. I know. No, it was, that the, was pathetic. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> you no, kept, no, you kept acting like the I was higher, the one screen, the writing this screenplay when you were doing it the way you wanted to do it. All you know I what? said was... Try to get to That's the bottom of this. I this is I not screenshots, that motherfucker. You can, you can show him the go, screenshots. Go. Show him the None screen of that will justify the way that you went I about said, it. This nigga be putting himself in positions and want people to feel sorry for him. Listen, so now, buddy. I didn't, ask, I didn't say anything that I'm embarrassed about in that moment. I thought that you should have got down to it, but it didn't. It, it, like, the way you went about it was... What odd. about the thumbnail, Adam? Yeah, so what? What about the thumbnail? The strong he thumbnail. Was very he upset. Yeah, like the Illuminati told he me to do it. Very upset. The higher ups told me to they, do this. Bro, they, they didn't? You got a screenshot? They didn't. I'm not going to show no screenshot. Yes, Fuck right. this nigga. Show but, the screenshot. The, I'll show the, the homies, difference, but, but I'm not trying yeah, to. Like, no, no, no. But listen, the difference between what I said and then what you did was large. Not really. Yes. Because you were kept in the loop the whole time. Did you tell him? Did he tell yeah, you to I, talk I, to his classmate? I, 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 I was like, I felt kind of bad about encouraging you to do it, but in the end, I was like, I I didn't think he was gonna do it like that. I thought you were gonna do it in a cooler way, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. But now, yeah, I can't put a hundred percent of the blame on Adam. It's I did it. You feel me? Ultimately, if I didn't want to do it, I could have told him no. I do felt like feel like yeah, the higher ups. 
did want me to do that shit that was pushing that agenda. You wanted to I wanted you Flacco. to bring it up, but you I wanted to pick you know. on Flacco at that moment. He was an easy target. That, Just like you're feeling you are the easy target and, and now. And here's the thing. You had that suspect and Gina cheering him on. Him on. And now suspect flipped it on him. No, look, look, it's not karma. funny no more. The, the that karma came back, bit did, him in the ass. It did, it did, it did. Mm. But the the thing is, that's not my nature to pick on people oh, like so that. That's so, not your nature. So I should, huh? I, what I should have done. You should have told Adam, like, fuck you. I should have said, like, you we do can't that do shit, this. nigga. Yeah, I, I should have. Adam, like, well, your job's dependent on it. He didn't, though. He I didn't. just wanted you guys to talk about something interesting because I remember at that time feeling like, damn, that, the Monday show is kind of dragging. No, no, no. That's what it was, really. Yeah. And that's what I did it for, and that's the coldest part. So for content, you yes. exploited your fucking teammate. It's yeah, not exploitation that, to ask someone where they're from. I, yeah, to be fair. Y'all went, y'all went, no, to, y'all yeah, went and over his, and To be fair, to be his fair. reaction was also a huge part of why it ended up looking like bullying because yeah. in reality, like the shit you were saying, was just not that intrusive from my perspective. I didn't think that it was going to be that crazy, and I thought it was funny. But at a certain point, when I saw how upset Flacco was, I should have just pulled the plug. And at that point, that was my fault. You yeah. feel me? Like so. Okay. It is what it is. Like Flacco, no, me and Flacco, good. Like that's my man's. At the end of the day, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have made fun of him for being stinky. Like, but see, to, I still have smell them. That's still a mystery to me. To I be still fair, them. To that's why I said this nigga be doing. To shit. be fair, he hasn't smelled since then. <laughs> Speaking of Flacco, Flacco is um, he's he's changed his whole arc. I, I, I'm fucking with it. He's calling himself Infant Ace Boy Trey now. Infant H Boy Trey. Ace Boy Trey. He's calling himself Infant Ace Boy Trey now. He's saying people come to LA. They got oh. they got to pay. He he Flacco is full gangster now. Do you support him charging people to come to LA? Bro, one thing I can say right He's now. He's the librarian Swifty he, Blue. He has turned his shit around. His reactions is some of my favorite things to look at on YouTube right now. I'm gonna start He's, watching them yeah. more if he stops he, repeating himself. But I like the repeating them. But why though? Like, this dude is crazy. This dude is crazy. I, I just, if you're going to repeat the same I'm, sentence two times I'm in a row, I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm proud out. of him. I'm proud of him too, besides the repeating. And, and, I, I, yesterday, can't, I can't get into that. He's and, embracing the chaos because yesterday I was watching fucking King Croc yeah, right. and ODM Slim arguing on his fucking I didn't watch Discord. That, but sum it up for me because I didn't see this. Basically, ODM was saying like, <laughs> he would beat the shit out of Kid Croc. And Croc is like, I'm not a tough guy, but I'll fight you physically. It was going back and forth. Then it, it got it got to the point to where King Croc was like, I can probably take your booty. And then ODM just loses it. Take your booty? Yeah, ODM, he you bitch ass nigga. Where you at? Where you at? And then they're like, Flacco, let's change the subject. He's like, no. He's like, we, you go to them other people's streams if you want the kumbaya shit. We want the chaos here. And I'm just lit. I'm like, this is coming from Flacco. Well, and he's I'm, always I, been on that, and you were always trying to get him to chill. Well, because I know he probably was trying to get his ass whooped. <laughs> but now he got back up now. You feel me? Who? All of us, nigga. That's my homie. You're going to back him up now? I got Flacco back. The Ace Boys got Flacco back. Oh, shout out, my God. Shout out Flacco to, is an well, Ace Boy. The hip-hop trend. You shouldn't say that no, because Flacco he's back. going to think you're serious. I am serious. He's going to think he's going to get into some shit that them are going to actually protect I am serious. him. If, no, you're not. If, oh, my Fool, God. Fools are for sure. He one of us now. Fools are for sure have Flacco's back. If like, if someone's trying now to now he's him now he's trying to do bully him. shit. If he's starting, yeah, I'm not standing. We ain't standing by that. We're not going to defend him for that. If you if you wake up and you see a text message from Flacco saying somebody shot up his crib, you rolling back <laughs> over. You going back to bed? No, I'm gonna no. give him. Well, never mind. I'm gonna, <laughs> tell, him, <laughs> I'm gonna tell him go go handle his shit. Yeah, I'm sure puns gonna be jumping out of bed. Oh, Flacco, let me help you out, bro. We we really would. I really I really we'll do that shit for you too, nigga. You better not. I, you don't think I would help you? Listen, the only Did somebody shot your be, crib? The only boys in blue that I'm gonna be calling wear a badge, not a do rag, okay? <laughs> I don't know I got it. I would I would help this nigga. I got his back. I'm not I don't want any of that. I want I want to deal with things the Yeah, because you know the no Jumbo Rico's is coming and I'm exactly. out of here. Exactly. I'm a law abiding citizen. Now, I'm I'm wondering though, for this diss track thing, or this this little verse, just, I don't want to put too many extras on it. I could always record it today in the studio here and Ooh. premiere it and premiere it tomorrow. Oh, I love that idea. I think that we sh and we Who's can the producer? Where we where we uh... Well, um I took a a type beat. I took a hit him up type beat. Oh, that's beat. not good. You feel me? Yeah. They're, they're coming for 90%. No, like no, it's no, a, you it's, can a, just a, buy it. it's a type beat. Yeah. Oh, buy it. Okay. We'll buy it. That's a good idea. We'll buy it. And that dude's going to be super psyched because his type beat's going to blow up. Wow. So I think that maybe right after this You, you want to do career. it live? We got to yeah. find a beat first though. You can make a career. I guess we could. I guess we could find a different sign. Beat. The producer. Okay. To be fair, I was gonna go home, 
Since you got your shit off, give me 30 minutes. Let me write some shit at the end of your shit. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You, do you want to be like, do you want to be like uh, Hussein Fatal on uh, You Feel Me and Hit Him Up, like to my Tupac? No, I'm going to let you do your shit. You going to get off on everybody? I'm going to get off too. You going to get at the end of the shit. You saying you just going, you know. You trying to, you trying to like. I mean, since you going, since we in the, in the sport of, you know what I'm saying. So you going to capitalize off my moment. I see what you're doing. All right. Oh, I can, I can stand back. No, 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 Ooh, Let's go. You got yourself a cocaine bot feature. Nice. Ooh, Let's go. I did it. Let's go. Now keep Whoa. in mind, my verse is pretty long. It's cool. How long is it? Pause. I want um, eight minutes. No, 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 no. It's, that, it's like it's not that long, bro. It's, 16, 32, it's like 40. a thirty-two or something. Oh, y'all going crazy in here. You gay as hell, bro. Two sixteen. <laughs> a thirty-two. Sixteen. So 32, why, give 60. me give me the beat after this. You feel me? Yeah. I'm gonna write my thirty-two. You can do this shit live. Oh, but so are you gonna listen to his and then record Already heard yours? His. You oh, heard okay. you heard four bars of mine. You heard what I said about you. I gotta piss. I'll be right back. Wow. Since I we like into that. the since we into the sport. <laughs> since we into the sport. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna go home. I don't wanna take away from Lush Moment though. But I'm in the spirit right now. I wanna show y'all. Nah, just wait, just wait. It's gonna be great. T Real, I don't get at you that crazy. I do have one joke I feel kind of bad about though. What? No, 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 no. It's gonna go. It's gonna be live. But it's. I think you're gonna respect it. It's I okay. Th- I think you're gonna respect. I it. respect all jokes. It's okay, dog. You ain't gotta kind apologize to me. It's kind about of. A, your, it's a kind of battle. It's kind, it's kind of a joke. No, no, it's cool. Let it, let it go. Let it fly. I'll just say this because yeah. I'm in, I'm in the spirit now. The only, I, I'll say this right now. Yuri gets spared. I don't have no any, Riley, right? No Riley. Okay, thank you. No Riley. Thank you. No, Riley's not even mentioned. So you got Adam in here? Fuck yeah. Flacco? Flacco catches a little, you feel me? T-Rail? Yes. Sharp? He, he, I, I say something. Sharp doesn't get any like negative bars. House phone? Doesn't get any negative bars. He gets a bar. Toke? Gets like a Ooh. Little, little light shot. Pun? I reference pun. Smack? I reference smack. So you just dissing everybody. I I di- here's I diss Almighty, I diss you, I diss T Rail, I diss Icon, I diss um Adam, I diss Josh. Damn. Why you wanna diss me? What I do? Because you you all y'all been fucking with me, bro, and I gotta get my get back. You gotta get your get back. Yeah. I, I fuck with you. Get yeah. your get back. Get uh, your get back. It's I'm all gonna get love. my get back too. It's all love. It's all I gotta love. hold the homies down. Yeah, man. Look, he gets sweating again. Next time, earn your, t- your shirt, too. <laughs> that motherfucker drunk. The collar on that motherfucker all the way back here. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, fuck your, fuck your song, nigga. <laughs> nigga trying to get at me crazy on this song. That's a- okay. A- a- AD, that's how, does okay? It, how does it feel that uh, Back on Fig was ranked higher than Community on the BuzzFeed? Shit, that's amazing. I love yeah. it. I feel that's like... That's my boy. Who is number one? Why, are you, on trying that- to, why are you trying to have... Uh, have competition between us. Who is number one? Somebody I have no idea about. That's hey. how I feel like that this was just subjective, but I felt like everybody on there deserved to be on there. Shouts man. to you, I didn't you think it, and Pun, you feel me? That I didn't think it dope. was no number thing. I just think it was just that's just the way the ball rolled. Bro, I took you as number bro, six, which and I we, thought was and dope. we and we competition as homies like Bro, I'm just fucking around, bro. No, I know that. You ain't fucking around. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I look I, 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 I swear to God. Baby. T Real, me and T Real got some other shit in the works. It's some, it's some big shit going on right now that everybody's gonna Lush. be happy about. I just smoked Lush. You just smoked Lush? I just filmed a scene for Icon's music video where I was demonstrating Smoking the Lush, Lush pack. pack. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just, Make sure y'all watch uh, Back on Fig next week. Was that Monday, bro? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got, got some, got some uh, shit. Watch Back on Fig. Yeah. Monday the 27th. We have a big announcement. Big announcement. Big announcement. What? Yes, What's the announcement? Yo, by the way, right I don't want to wait. Yo, by the way, that guy is in so over his head. Bro. Icon? Icon? For, with the little thing we got going so on. So for the people bro. who don't know, it's spelled E-Y-E-K-O-N, and he is now apparently involved in a vicious war with a- Oh, so wait, he got one too, don't he? He said Watch. he got a crazy bet. Did you what? actually bet He's him? smoking you. Bro. He said if he wins He's, the bet, you got Okay, gotta so you now, gotta, now, leave no now I'm going to tell bro. Icon too, since we are all in the spirit- at the end of this shit, you Ooh. get yours off. Icon gets his shit off. I get my shit off on the same record. 
Blush smells pretty good. That's fair. That's fair. I'm with it. Because you usually supposed to have different records. He thought he was only going to have uh, Icon. But you usually no. supposed to have different records when you diss somebody, right? Well, so what I was thinking, like, we could do it like this, and this is fire. I would. So you want your own diss song, right? No, but but like, here's the thing. I was gonna. If you don't want that nigga on your song, bro. Don't let him bully you on your song, bro. No, I want. Yeah, just say it. No, nah, here's the thing. He ain't ready. And then the suspect's smoke. gonna respond, and AD's gonna get on that one too. <laughs> no, I can't. Here's the thing. That's the most AD thing in the world. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna stay out of that. On, on, on some MC shit, I can't take it, and that's why I had to rap after he rapped, even though it was because I'm not gonna turn down nothing. Like you like I might be turning down fades, but I'm not turning down no battles. I'm with Period. the I'm with the full smoke. Period. Like so, the fools want to hop on the track. Fuck it, you feel me? So what, what, what time? Track. What time is it? Because I'm gonna get in there and do my shit right now. It is. Can we cancel the news? Because it seems way more important than the news. No, oh. we could do it while the news is going here. live. <laughs> that was like what was it? The day that Andrew Tate got arrested, and you were like, "No, make me the thumbnail." <laughs> that did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. But in a why part was of, I the thumbnail? In, I, I because you were beefing with Flacco or some shit. Oh, or it was like somebody died. I forget. Is Bell here? Anyway. Cocaine bot. They, 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 like, shouldn't you be able to theoretically <laughs> record? Then got you should be able to record in there while they're doing the news. Diamonds, right? and diamonds from Africa. Because you just have headphones and you're in the booth, right? Like you don't need to hear. I got it. it. Cook like a spatula. You just That's listen to amazing. it after. Hey, hey, hey. White lies goes crazy. Cocaine you should, box. Yeah, you told White, White, lies. White, White lives. White no, lives. The name of the song was called White Lies. <laughs> Which what is song? The song that he referenced oh, in his right. supposed freestyle. Lying, dude. That makes it even better. Yeah, White lies. Because he's white and he's a liar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> White lies. Can you please give us a cocaine by live? I love it. Cocaine. Because it's stuck in my head. Cocaine oh, wait, bot. Wait, wait. The, yeah, the how, do we flip, how do we flip the cocaine bot thing into a hook? No, no. No, let's, could, no, let's sure. give us the verse right now. Because, like, I want to hear. What oh, do we say? sample it and make it like? Pull up stunting. Pull up stunting. Wait, no, wait. Oh, hold Where's on, DJ on. Premier? Oh, no, let's get DJ Premier to no, do this. Do, do, do you want? Do you want? <laughs> no, no, you, you got to dance with do it. Do you want the actual version of it? I want the actual like, version. Come on. Pull up okay. stunting. Pull up stunting with cocaine bot. Deeper than a bitch with the whole damn block. <sighs> Suicide door swerve. Cobain drop. Whoop. Ah! <laughs> I can get cut in from Africa. I got no, my yeah, diamonds yeah, yeah. from Africa. What do I say? I said, diamonds and emeralds, alternative rocks. <laughs> I'm cooking just like a spatula. What? Diamonds, my diamonds from Africa. Who? Counting my paper like added up. Yeah? Only the squad and the gang with us. Hey! Y'all wasn't facing indictments. No. Working a stole on no license. Yes. Smoke one for who you did time with. What? Uh, 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 uh. Go so, ahead. You know what I realized? Two bands cover my eyelids. Oh. Only double up some my strips. Oh. No snakes, but the drives Versace Gucci slides. But you never catch a guy slip. Fuck twelve, free the homie. You'll be make bail. Yeah. We've been getting legal money. Keep the paper trail. Yeah. Some shit. You feel me? Fuck with it. I'm glad I didn't it's know guys like. Bad, right? I'm glad I didn't that know guys like you though. when I was 19 because I would have been a rapper <laughs> too. How That's one that thing I realized in all this is that I would have been a rapper too if I had been like friends with other rappers when I was a young dude. The hip. The and I'm the so hip thankful hip. that I didn't. You see how simple it was what you just did though. Yo, bro, why, look, why couldn't Almighty have just done that? Why couldn't it, Almighty have done what you just did? I don't know because those diamonds from Africa just rubbing me the wrong way. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You never heard the what was that? Wasn't that was like was Sierra Leone? You know, the listen. skipper the flipper and Migos. I want to get your thoughts on this. And we might be saying it too much. Is that it's like when you come into an organization like No Jumper, you kind of have like multiple different options for how you're gonna engage with everybody. And it's like I think pause. the average person, you you doing unnecessary pauses is just really <laughs> fucking up this podcast. Please stop. Just er, reduce it by like 70%. I'm just playing, God. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> just engaging. The problem, ahead, the, the problem is the playing. Um, but anyway, the, <laughs> when you show up, a lot of people like want to make friends with everybody. And that's their way of like trying to elevate within the business or like, you know, content wise is to be cool with everybody, to like get along with everybody. I feel like in some ways, suspect has been kind of approaching it almost like a war where he wants to sort of like unseat everybody. Like, oh, Flacco, you're doing your thing? Nope, I'm coming for you. It's Lush, oh, you're next. I'm taking you out. Who knows who's next? But it kind of feels like that. I don't know if he's like consciously thinking of it like that, but that seems like that's kind of like where his brain goes is that he sort of wants to like vanquish foes within No Jumper. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I felt like fucking Julius Caesar. You foe. feel me? Like fucking Brutus just like... You feel me? Stab me in the back paws. And like that shit was. Damn. 
So you felt betrayed. Betrayed. Damn. Tell that nigga that. I will. I have. That's I really what this whole podcast tell, has been about. Tell him before <laughs> yeah. you, two hours. He's tell gonna, him before you get it. He's gonna totally understand. Tell him before you're distracted. I mean, <laughs> he's gonna hear the song. Is he gonna come running here? He might not be psyched about it. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. He might not be psyched about it. You Whoa. went personal. Nah. You kind of got it right. I mean, what, is this coming out before or after the distract? I just asked Josh. Nigga, I'm ready after this. No, no, no. We 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 can record right fucking now. Right now, right now, right now. I was gonna re- I was gonna spit it all live. So the fact that I get to hit the booth, like I've been trying to mm. I wrote this shit on the plane. I've been trying to memorize it because I knew it would be crazy, but like, you know, shit. If we gonna do it like this and have fun with it, I'll have a whole other like if, if AD go crazy on it, I'm gonna have another one going back at it. Like like I'm th- this is like this was my warning shots because I don't really go at anyone that crazy. But do you I'm feel like Icon is cloud chasing by using you as an opportunity I, to? He's trying to get his Spotify. A- 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 absolutely, but Icon is my man's. I'm the one that's been pushing Icon over here. I want him to be doing good over here. So yes, let him. And Icon fucking sucks. Can we so put? <laughs> can we put his diss terrible. on the channel? Yeah. Oh. Can we put my diss on the channel? Sure. You feel me? Like. That's what I I wanted a viral moment because I was gonna fucking destroy everything with this shit. Good or bad, if it sucks, everyone's gonna be laughing. If it's if it's dope, people and I think the response is gonna be split. Some people are gonna be like lush is trash, blah, 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 blah. I'm a fucking 40-year-old, 41-year-old white guy catching my fifth wind as a rapper. I, I thought that this was all done for me. I'm having fun. I'm a naturally super awkward person who fucking moves weird, has a weird voice. Everything <laughs> about rapping has been a huge uphill battle for me. Crackhead. But it's but it, a drug addict, <laughs> you feel me? But this is what I fucking love to do. It's brought me around the world for better or worse. I've gone to four continents. Alaska. Off, off, of, off of this shit. You feel me? Like How much you get to paid to go to Alaska? $2,500. But, you know. That's good money. Hey. That's my bare minimum price. Too. You got biddies out in Alaska? I, I knocked a bitch that same night. She was on my gram. Was she like a fisherman or? No, uh, she was a Filipina chick. Was she, she was fisherman? She's she's from Vallejo and then Sandy. Yeah. Fisherwoman. But I knocked a bitch at the show. It's crazy because the ratio is real fucked up. There's way more. Like literally, they have the worst male to female ratio in the country. Well, it's like all men, right? Yeah, it's yeah. almost all men. And the bitches be cheating like a motherfucker, right? And here's why they be cheating. There's multiple reasons why. One, because there's so many more of the dudes. Two, because the dudes are in, a lot of them are in the military yeah. industry and things like that. So they be like, away. So bitches are just like being trifling as hell. But Wow. Yeah. But I somehow, I wasn't even trying to, I wasn't even thinking about pussy. Bitch, like, I was like, okay, there's one cute bitch here, womp dee womp dee womp. Like, I had to be careful about it, though, because I don't drink. And she was drinking, I was like, you got to sober up. Before we you won't you won't you feel American me like scent papers. yeah 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 but how so, long does it take someone to sober up like a few hours depends how drunk they are she wasn't that drunk like that you feel me but she had to sober up like, you can make yourself throw up and speed up the process yeah because one time when we first hung out with the blackout girls put it in her throat until she puked Hayden right? went and puked her fucking guts out and then she was just trying to hang out right after and I was like I don't think that's how this works. Yeah, it does work. You like don't that. just like completely de drunkify yourself by throwing up one you can time. Get, you can get better. Yeah. Okay, but drink to some fuck? water. Did she do lines? Yeah. Because that'll help too. She didn't. I think in a court of law, that would probably not help. <laughs> Although, oh. but I feel like yeah. realistically, like, like you know and I know that if you're drunk as fuck and you do a bunch of coke, you could become a better driver. Absolutely. But there's no way that logic is no, going to no, no, work no. on the cops. Yeah. <laughs> Remember they did ketamine and passed out? That's crazy. Who? You never done coke. Huh? Oh, I didn't see him pass out. <laughs> One combo. One combo. One they did combo. ketamine at the old. Office. I keep seeing. I keep seeing this instinct to talk to each other. Gotta be one combo. Man, yeah, shut the fuck up. You know it like I know it. <laughs> you, we were you talking did, to y'all. Interrupted I, I'm us. offended by you denying that because you know it's a fact. You I know, know it you guys, fucking I, ruins the conversation. It does, and you guys interrupted us first. I thought so too, honestly. Well, I know because he's fucking sitting over here talking to me. That's what I'm saying. One combo. Who's a bitch? Okay, so. I forgot what we were talking about. T. Rail was talking about how he used to do coke all the time. I didn't you did coke? Oh, he did say he did coke before. I did it before. Am I the only person that ain't did no coke? I'm not. I'm glad I didn't pass out. Yeah. Or nothing. 
I ain't Honestly, don't do it now, especially with all the nigga. With all I would be a crackhead. I would never do that, bro. I have addictive personality. Yeah, you probably. It really like didn't that. have any effect on me at all. Oh, I hear when people say and this. Then I, you and didn't then do enough. I had, you gotta I had do like more. Shrooms too, like, and it had no effect on me at all. Shrooms oh, had a on. crazy effect on you me. You didn't do enough. You didn't, didn't do, do enough. enough. So. I had to. Only thing how much shrooms you do? My lip hurt. Like my lip was smoking out. Yeah. No, no, not the coke. Yeah, no, the shrooms, fool. I just took it. I took some chocolate and my lip was just like poking out and it's like cotton mouth. I'm like, what is this feeling? This is not good. You and me. They do give you cotton mouth. We rack up a few lines right now and I want, we'll each do a line and I want to just stare into your eyes and you tell me that you're not fucked up. Coke? No. Or shrooms? Coke. Yeah, it didn't do anything. You see how we just ignored you on that one, Lush? I I actually, I actually snorted shrooms before too, believe it or not. That's a damn shame. Shroom dust. (laughs) Oh God, it's a really bad idea. You, yeah, that's wild. (laughs) Yeah, I did. I did. That's what I'm saying. Like, how much shroom? I think it has to be the right shrooms. I gotta be with a professional shroom. You need to be in the right setting, taker. You know how much you you took? Like, just like two bars of like chocolate, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, but a lot of those chocolates, I feel like, are fucking bullshit. You need to eat the actual. The dude was in here giving out fucking big ass bags of mushrooms the other day. I need to eat the actual mushroom. Well, you don't need to because I've taken the chocolate and totally got fucked up Nigga, off it I too. I took the but chocolate and threw up. That shit fucked your stomach up. I feel like... Yeah, my stomach was kind of If you hurting. just eat it raw, at least you'd know what you're getting. Whereas if you eat the chocolate, you could Nigga. be eating some other shit. Nigga, I threw up and I'm looking at my throw up moving with the colors and shit. I was like, oh shit. Shit is weird. Mm. That's what it did for you? I was wanted to do that. I was in time well, I, too. I, would, I wanted to look at... I told you the green. last time I took it, the last two times I was in the club and that wasn't a good experience. Were you drunk in Vegas? A little bit. How was that? It was fine. It was good. Hmm. Drunk being drunk in Vegas, looking at all the white people, you know. Saying, what club were you great at? Great time at Tao. Tao. Mm-hmm. Vegas is super. You know what? I'm how like, late did you stay up? How long? Yeah. I left that bitch at one thirty. Okay. I was gone. I was just Early. curious. I was thinking when I was looking at, it, I'm like, here. is him and Heather staying out till four in the morning? I don't know if I see it. Nigga, you go nah. to the clubs and then you go to motherfucking Dre's after the after hours. Nah, stay man. there at six in the morning. Well, our, For what? Our flight, was, our flight was like early as fuck the next morning. So nah. I had to at least get an hour. You know what I'm saying? And then hop on the flight. If it was at 12, I would have stayed till that shit closed. Was Smack Wildin' though? Smack stayed till it closed. Yeah. And they played, <laughs> it's time to go. They had even, to kick that nigga about that Even before the fucking plane, I mean, even before y'all left, he was like, I ain't going to T Red House right now. I'm going to come turn up with y'all. He didn't go to sleep <laughs> until he got on the plane. That's was he drunk as hell? What? <laughs> bro, he got on the plane. It's you know Vegas flight is only an hour, so he he knocked out, homie. I'm like, bro, it's you know, the plane landed. I'm shaking him like this. The plane landed. And he ain't even moving. Look, he doing this. <laughs> <laughs> right? So the people is getting scared as fuck. I'm scared as fuck too. So I'm like, this bitch been now. If he die on me on this plane, I'm gonna be hot. Cause. Are, are so you... instead of me being hot, I was really instead of me being sad, I was getting really upset with this nigga because I thought he was dead. Are you worried about him at all? Like cause like, you know, you get getting opportunities yeah. going to Vegas and stuff, but then I've been in this position where like you you have somebody that you're kind of glowing up together and then you start realizing like, oh, they're going to be getting fucked up wherever no, we go. And sometimes that could be a tricky it's, decision. It's crazy, too, because he came out with me and the homies this weekend. And the next morning, t Real said, what happened to Smack? I was like, not on my watch. Come on now. You lost Smack? No, he was just like, what happened to him? I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, he lost Smack. He didn't I didn't him. lose Smack. <laughs> Yo, they broke up, lost Smack. Smack no, he ended didn't. up somewhere at 7-Eleven. <laughs> and somebody 7-Eleven hanging off the pole. Drunk, can't find his key, can't find his phone. Hey, Man, so he's at 7-Eleven with no keys and no phone? No, nothing. Because at that point, you are basically a crackhead. Because like he, he your phone the- is what separates you from a crackhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he don't He was nothing. with us. Crackheads got phones. I told some, Smack. Some, but, we, I said, Smack. But they don't got nobody to call. I said, Smack, we about to go home. He said, I'm about to go home too. So the last conversation I had with him. Man, he was And he texted me the next day and said, "Where? what happened to Smack? I said, huh? But I'm, I'm thinking in my head, if I went out to the club with Smack and we both got drunk and then at some point he just wasn't there and I texted him, I'll be like, yo, where you at? And he don't respond. I'll just be like, okay. Like I'm, I'm not really like thinking it's my responsibility to go track him down. Right? He was like, with us the whole nah, time. Nah, the homie no. Down. And he had his brother. He introduced me to his brother and his cousin and somebody else. He had like seven people with him too. But I made sure he got. To, I said because when we go to the place, we gonna get, we gonna go together, we gonna leave together. If my every, rule, my rule that's is this: my rule with that. no homie left behind. No, we don't do that. Like unless you, if you bounce with a bitch, cool. 
You feel me? If you account even, for even it. Even then, I'm going to make sure yeah, yeah, somebody... Oh, what if you just can't Carson? find them? Yeah. Do you have to man a search party for the rest of the night? No. That's Especially when you know that they probably realistically, their phone died and they just went home with some girl or whatever, right? You gonna, you, mean, got, you got to at least give a heads up. Like, I'm about to go with this bitch real quick. But what if they don't? Like, in this case. Then down there, you need a fade. Because if you losing you and we getting Damn, panicking and shit. So you left, I'm going to beat you up. If someone disappear, I'm going to think about you the whole night. It's been so long since I like went out with the homies. I'm kind of forgetting like what it feels like. But that's been that's been me since we were like kids. It was always like man, that, he like he he, he was good though. But on that plane, he scared the shit out of me. Cause you remember that one story he said my brother gave him um, CPR mm -hmm. or whatever. He gave him mouth to mouth, and that's just how he was. He wasn't responding. He so was just drunk. And I was like, what? He was faded drunk too. And I was like, what the hell wrong with you? And then I slapped him like, hey bro, get up. And he and he didn't even move. He was just like. And then the, the guy next to him is like, oh my God, I heard him saying <laughs> shit. Right? I slapped the shit out that nigga. Bah, I slapped the glasses off that nigga because I just was scared too. And he was like, oh, oh, oh. I was like, man, get your stupid ass up. To be lying. fair, yeah. if you're going you to lie, you're going to feel this one. Yeah, you're going to feel this one. If he didn't feel that one, it was bad. No, nah, no, nah, real talk. One time, I was off a bunch of Xanax and I'm flying back from Portland to LA. And so I'm like high as fuck, I'm drunk, I'm on Zans, and I have to take a shit. I go into the bathroom, like right before we're about to take our initial descent, and I like, so I, and I apparently, I fucking fell asleep on the toilet. And then the plane lands, and they couldn't like open the door because it's locked. They had to call a fucking federal air marshal to get me out. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. With your pants down. With my pants down. Oh my god, that's super embarrassing. Yeah, dog. you're gross. And now, like, yeah. as big as I am now, and like, you're bigger than me. So I don't know. Pause. <laughs> just dis. <dissing. laughs> <laughs> no, like you're like, regardless, you're like a physically. No, we know. So when you when you go into like bathrooms and airplanes are tiny. I ain't fool. taking no shit in no bathroom, bro. What if it's on like a plane? A what the fuck else are you gonna do? Nigga, hold it until I get to my descent. What if you oh, that sounds great. I'd love to hold shit it my pants get to my on the flight. Descent? You're full of shit. You're I just going to poop. I'm taking this shit. I swear I have never shit on a plane. You I've just never, haven't been on that many planes. I've never took a shit in this office or the old office. I've Congratulations. You I'm have amazing you. booty control. You know, he's got <laughs> We're all so proud of you. I'm just telling you. Well, some of us, Do like myself, a cookie? sometimes yeah. I got to shit. <laughs> I shit in public restrooms because I have to shit. And hey, I'm at the airport. I got to shit. I might have to shit a couple times. Yeah, hey, I no, got a week club. I don't want to shit at the club, but the I have club done is it. It's crazy if you take a shit in the club, but I had to take a shit on the airplane one day, and I, I was like, "Damn, it's this, this tiny my cheeks final over moment. there. This is my final moment. I can't hold it." It sucks. Your head's bumping the at fucking wall. At least you skinny though, and you can't hold shits either. Them shits take over. Now, if it got a go, 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 then I'll then I'll do it. Are, you are can't you... take. Look, you can hold your pee, but you can't hold shits. Shits is like it's coming so out. I can hold boy. more shit than I can. hold I'm pee. guessing that none of you guys are gonna admit that you jerked off in the bathroom on the plane. That oh, was, that's disgusting. That's some nice. sick shit. Why? You did that? I mean, I'm up there for like 15 fucking hours. That's, a, that's nasty as fuck. Bro, why Adam. would you do that, dog? I'm doing everything that I'm doing on, on ground that I'm doing up in the air. Oh, you are disgusting. Are you in the mile high club? dude, bro. Mm -hmm. You're a disgusting, sick why? individual. Why? It's a bathroom. It's just like any other bathroom. Why is it different that it's up it's in the air? It's kids going there. There's kids who go in every bathroom. Are you busting nuts in that little tiny compartment? Onto a tissue or into the bowl, sure. That is disgusting. That's tissue. I, lo I love that. You get aroused in a, a fucking little ass. How is it different uh, than anything American else? Airplane and I hate, I hate when bathroom. people fucking take forever in the bathroom anyway. See, look at this see you over there. Come yeah, on, you jerk dog. off like that. You don't even grip your hand? What the fuck? That's and your you style. Some shit onto a tissue. <laughs> That's your She's style. He's nasty. Not, <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, That's though. He just style. admitted it too, and you guys can't even they fucking. No, I didn't say he jerked off. Yes, he did. Yeah, In you the did. On I, I an have. airplane. I have. What is so different? Sick. What's the yeah. difference? Y'all are sick, sick it was, bro. I'm not. It was a while ago, but I did it. I'm not now that motherfucking door would have busted horny, open, bro? and the whole plane would have seen you. What you gonna say? Y'all that horny. It's a bathroom. You never flew to Australia. If you never jerked off on a plane, Australia. you never flew to fucking, you know, Nigga, uh, I didn't have Thailand, 15 hour, hour flights, flight. 14 hour flights. And you didn't, didn't touch your wheat, your no, wiener? No, I didn't think about jacking fucking off. Fucking weirdo. You got to touch that shit. <laughs> Rub Hell your meat. Hell no. Rub it. I'm a sick fuck. I got issues. Like, I'll take That's it. disgusting. Don't say that when disgusting. it's about some normal shit like beating uh, off on the plane. Right, That's cool. not normal. Thank you for bro, making me feel better. normal. They finna put y'all on the no fly zone. Yes, nigga. You mean the list. Yeah. No fly list. zone is like Russia. coming here. No fly I've, zone uh, list. I've I've gotten pretty far with like with how many list. times have you done that? Once. But I you. and and I've maybe twice. Less than ten. 
But I, I've had That's a... That's crazy, I, disgusting. I've definitely had um, me and, like, a girl. We didn't, like, go all the way, but we, like, you feel me? We were doing the damn thing. She literally was trying to dome me up in the seat. See, that's... Like, yeah, I'm like, cool with that one. Yeah. Like, the homie got domed up in the seat yeah. before. That's cool. So, so that's okay. You were saying it's not okay for me to beat off in the bathroom because children might go there in the future. But it's okay for him to get his dick sucked out in the open where it's almost certain it was that under children a are going to see it. So it was under a blanket. blanket. It's under a I'm blanket. glad that I've just shown you how what you were saying makes You're no so sense. It's true, though. It does, sick it does make no though. sense. My argument You is, said 10 yeah, times. No and I've been on a plane with you, and you did leave for a little while. Shit, I might have beat off on the way to Pensacola. I don't oh even remember. Oh, my God. But all I'm saying is that if I had chosen to, it would have been normal. You shake my hand afterwards. I'm smear a little bit on your hair. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> White people, am I right? Hey, but but here's Bro, the thing. A, AD, just white know, guilt. Am I right? AD, if you had white shame, no, white I'm lies. Not That's what your merch is saying. White, white lies. shame. I admitted it. White shame. I admitted it. But AD, I'm just telling you, if you had to take a shit on a plane, you'd have a very difficult time. Yeah, nigga, I'm a hippo. Oh, so you're just finding another way to tell us that he's a large man. Well, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard for me. It was hard for me this most recent time. Like, right. wipe it, it was like the whole thing. It was just like when Duno first came, he said he had to do. He had to buy two seats. Yeah, he happens. did. Yeah. Wow. He doesn't look like he would need it now, but nah, he lost a lot. No, he don't need it now. Eh, I don't know. Nah, he don't need it now. He could go first class, or he could get two small seats, right? Or you can get the motherfucker. How much? I mean, having to get two first class expensive. He didn't lose that much weight. Forty pounds is not going to be the thing that makes you have. He can be comfortable in an emergency seat. Yeah, he, he can be comfortable. But that's really row. mainly. But that's mainly <laughs> leg room. Row. That's really mainly leg room. The seats aren't really. That's bigger. the best feeling ever when you fucking got a fucking the oh, whole row to yourself. Oh man! Hey, you know what I wanted to say about that Duno? Might be better than first class. Is um, I remember thinking that it was kind of bugged out. When do you remember we did the Patreon episode and Duno had was holding the leash on the girl and she mm -hmm. was on her knees eating dog. eating dog food or whatever? And I remember him saying like, "Oh, lady, lady was tripping on me. Like she said it'd be bad for my brand, or whatever." And I remember thinking like, "What the fuck? Like you're a controversial TikTok comedian, YouTuber, whatever. Like that's not that bad." And then I I see him get the Power 106 job and I'm like, "Oh, so that's what she was talking about." Probably when you get the Power 106 thing, like I don't think that would be enough to like make that not happen, since obviously it happened. But it does seem like the kind of thing that like if you're doing that kind of stuff a lot, that that might be the kind of thing where a corporate thing or like a radio station not, might but, not but, fuck. But, but, what about, but what about like Howard Stern? He was doing way more scandalous shit than that. He's like, white. Yeah, but that was a is very, that really the only difference? Very like, different probably. era. It, Howard no, Stern is a, the, it's a the, way The fact era. that it took place in the 90s is definitely the you defining factor, not the fact that If one Adam would have bought somebody on here like Beetlejuice and did all that shit Howard Stern did now, well, I think oh, about that all the time. Cancel the fuck out of him. I mean, there's some people on this channel that aren't that far away from Beetlejuice. Bro, there's a character. <laughs> there's, there's a character. On uh, <laughs> there's a character on Howard Stern named Wendy the that retard. Good, that was a good one. No, er, there, there was, was tons one. of retard. Eric yeah. the retard, the uh, deaf, deaf when, so Wendy the retard. You can't cool. do shit like that. They had no. queefing contests on the air. You could hear yeah. the queefing. We couldn't do that. Well, I don't know, maybe we could. Wait, but. Then they had the the the, 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 the littlest dick contest too. They so, was doing all types oh, of actually, shit. That's bro. a good idea. I like to do that. <laughs> oh and if you want to see the dicks, you got to go to the OnlyFans. Yeah, let's go on a plane. Would you guys be down for that little dick contest? Oh no. What's wrong with y'all, dude? I'm finna get up out of here. Really, I, I really got to go to the hospital for my. Can I father. rap now? What's up? I fool? love y'all to death. You want to say that shit right we here? We would be done nah, right nah, now nah, if nah. Lush hadn't been like 12 minutes late. We we got to hit the two minutes. We can't be pre-recorded and not hit two hours. I agree. Oh, so, uh, yeah. How many, yeah, you could dip. We'll just talk shit about you. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love y'all to death. Love you too, dog. All right. See you tomorrow, Sledge Lords. Think a lot, long and hard about what you want to say. About what? Bring TF. I love the white guys. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I support that. Yeah. Later, Doug. I, I, I had a nice conversation with him. We potted before. When we with were Danny. The pod oh, yeah, with yeah. me, T Rail, Flacco, and Danny was like. He bumped me and AD and not lost. He did me first. Oh, he did. Oh, oh. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. I don't, I don't want to spread a fake narrative. I thought he actually did I mean, that. Fuck him anyway. He got a diss record. He got a yeah, diss record. Yeah. yeah. Definitely do. I feel like I got to avenge T Rail. I would say some shit like back on fig, you back on dick. That was trash. No. You back on dick. <laughs> what I say about him is... It's harsh? No, it's not. Ableist? Ableist bars? There is one thing that alludes to his... But I do it in a clever... You know, I, I'm, I'm surgical. So I, I got to gotta get him. I can't I'm even surgical. imagine what you could have unloaded on suspect. That's going to be interesting. I th So... The first part... He did tell me that it's a possibility that he may want to fight him. <laughs>
the, so here's the thing. The first part is me just being like, damn, that was like you're scandalous for doing that. And then at the very end, I kind of bring it back to him, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, and I make a few jokes, which he might not be happy with. Hopefully he doesn't take them the wrong way. How'd your kids? How'd your wives? Not even like that. You didn't touch on that? No. That's like, you know what I mean? Like, a little more surgical. Surgical with the chain. A little more surgical. Let me ask you this. Who is Swaggy P and why is he beefing with Nick Young? Nick Young, man. He used to play for the Lakers. Oh. How, NBA, how long NBA ago? Player. That's how a dude that knocked up Biggie. Yeah. yeah, that's what oh, knocked up Biggie. Oh, and that whole thing—that was yeah. him. Why, how long has he not been in the NBA? You don't remember the, the so D'Angelo Russell? They s- supposedly snitched on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then for he, cheating. Yeah, I remember yeah. this. I just didn't know the names of the people involved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so he's been out of the NBA for a couple of years. Well, like three years. A now? while. Just three, because his skills were fading. So or? he was, well, he was never to... like a superstar player. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. But he he um, was supposed to box Blueface as well. Right. He became and then a Blueface boxes boxer. a girl. That's why that dude happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay. So then what did wh- why did Swaggy P comment on the the Blueface or on the suspect clip? That's what he commented on, right? Was the he, clip of suspect. Because so, he didn't like y'all. He was being he, mean to he, me. He didn't like he didn't like it. So he was like, nigga, he don't like that tough guy shit. He like, nigga, let's box. Wow. And the suspect said he was slapping shit out of him. And then he of- also said, come to the gym and fight me. Is this then he happen? said, come to Crenshaw and Jefferson. <laughs> Suspect is talking to him on some street shit. Swaggy wants to get in the boxing gloves. But this is the exact same thing that happened when like, uh, when Mighty Mouse came out here and he wanted to fight fucking Milk. And, and, or no, Pino and Mighty Mouse. They, they wanted did. to fight Milk. And they were saying, oh, we got this boxing gym. You can show up and fight us. And Milk's like, oh, no, I'll, I'll fight you on the street or I'm not meeting up with you or whatever. But it's like... As much as, like, yeah, it's supposed to be street shit, so it's like the boxing gym is, like, people look at that as, like, sort of antithetical to it. I mean, if you have a place where you're allowed to fight legally and you're offering it up, to me, that's, like, the ultimate show of good faith of, like, look, I'm willing to prove who is the toughest here in an environment in which we know that the fight could actually happen. Whereas if we fight on the street, we know the cops could pull up at any given moment. Yeah, but it's it's a difference, though, because when you're in a boxing gym... You know, they're going to probably want to get headgear. No headgear. They're going to have gloves. Like, what's the point of driving to a boxing gym to have a real physical fight without any gloves or anything when you could just meet up on the street? Because they're not meeting up on the street. Nobody's meeting up on the street. Very rarely. I Let's mean, be real. So that's why I think that the boxing gym Are people is, going to the boxing gym either? Apparently not, but at least like it's a possible. We've seen other people do it, not so much in this Everybody world says, oh, about. I want a bag to do it. Well, Suspect already said- that he's not going, if he has beef with someone, he's not going out of his way. It's when I see you, I'm going to see you. And Suspect also said that he wouldn't fight nobody over 30. He said he's not fighting no (laughs) big person anyway. And so he's Swaggy P's over 30? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I have nothing to worry about then. That's such a, remember like Uzi? I don't think he's thinking it the same way with you. (laughs) Remember when Uzi was talking about rappers over 30 or whatever? And he's like, and I was just Maybe, like, bro, oh, you're, yeah. you're going to be 30 like in a couple of years. He's about to about? be 30, you, right? right? Yeah. Is he going to stop rapping? Is he nope. going to stop embedding diamonds in his Game head? said the same shit too. Yeah. Yeah. You're 40, you're still rapping. I'm yeah. about to be 40. I'm like, oh shit, I'm almost 40. That's I'm like, 26, nigga, so yeah. is the dude. But how do you, like, I don't know, do you feel like your life is going to be fundamentally different at 40? It definitely starts to feel a little different as time goes by. As far as like... Yeah, you can feel it. You're kind of like, I can't believe I've been around this long. It's like, for, for me, it has nothing to do with the age. It all has to do with mentality. And when, I, like, a few years ago in my late 30s, I might as well have been fucking 20 because of, like, mm-hmm. just the way I was living with my drug use and just, like, and then at a certain point, like, I'm like, damn, what the fuck have I been doing with my life? Like, I just, like, had to, like, like I, the other day, I just, maybe, like, a week and a half ago, I was like, damn, like I was looking at my room and how fucking dirty it was because I'm just used to having like my girl clean up for me and take care of me, but I don't have that anymore. And I was just like, dude, this is what my room looked like when I was a straight fucking dope fiend. Like, mm. so I like cleaned everything up and I, just, I was like, damn, like I'm learning how to take care of myself. That's something I never would have done a few years ago. So. My girl said that because we, uh, when, when we first went out, she was like, oh, like this guy's like in his 30s. Like he's, he's probably got his life together and shit. And then she went back to my house and it was like this fucking shitty ass BMX flop house with like beer cans all over the fucking table. <laughs> I know. And awesome. Room dirty How old as is fuck. She? 31. So she's like, yeah, damn near. Eight years younger yeah, than me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, back to what you were saying before is that I think 
a lot of people in when they have like one career, they usually peak at a certain age at the end of the day. Like even if they're still skilled, people don't look at them the same way. And I was watching um the Nori's interview with Joe Bud. I mean so Joe I gotta watch that. Nigga, that shit was so much fucking game. And one thing Nori was talking about was he's like, listen, podcasting is his third life. He said he he conquered, you know, rap. He did reggae tone and podcasting is his is his new thing. Did too. he really go that far with reggae I mean, tone? He did. Yeah, he was he, he it's only like a couple a year or two, right? Yeah, like, he had he had a few hits. Though. I feel like he backed away from it hella fast though. Right? But he had he talks about all that in the interview though. So I mean, on some podcast shit, like just you know that inspired me to go harder and look at look at things you know differently. But he he was really. Popping it, but I guess you know the same for you, Lush. It was like this is probably your your second. It's my third, really, because yeah. it started out rapper, battle rap entrepreneur, um, podcaster, and it's my third ring. And so right now you're succeeding as a podcaster, which opens the door for everything else. Because I don't think a lot of people, no jumper people, probably knew that you did music right before it is you know even Bro, came. All, in. Not for nothing, like. All this controversy and like all the, bro, I've, I've been on cringe subreddits, the freestyle thing. Like, it, <laughs> really? It, yeah, it's like, it, it's legit viral, you feel me? Mm. But that made so many more pay, people pay, pay attention. attention. And then they went back and like, a lot of them are still like, oh, you suck. But then there's, <laughs> th then there's a lot of them that are like, yo, you're actually fired. Like, and, I had no idea. And that's what I, that's what I've, I've been dealing with as well, where it's like, when I first came here, I didn't really drop shit like that. And I hear people like, oh, you, AD sucks. He's this, he's this, he that. And then like just the freestyle, I mean, not the freestyle, but the written, niggas is like, wait a minute. Oh, I went back and listened to your shit. And, you know, or like the song I just dropped, they're like, oh, this is actually good. So I'm hearing people like, okay, you can actually do something. They still like you suck. But I'm like, the more as it goes, it's like you're going to get back to what the real essence was. Like, this is my second life in podcasting and shit like that. And I'm My whole merging. thing is I feel like I've... I'm in a different place because I've been podcasting realistically for like eight years now, including the BMX stuff and creating content like video content even longer before that. And it's like, sometimes I just wonder like, is there another chapter after talking on camera? Because I like talking on camera and I feel like I could just easily do it for the rest of my life and it would be fine. I've kind of like seen the limits of how much I could talk on camera in a week because there have been weeks where I've done like, you know, 10, 12 fucking interviews and this show and Sledge Lords, whatever. And it's like, it's dope. And I feel like that's kind of always been like a thing that I've taken pride in is being able to do an absurd amount of content in a week. But then also it sometimes just strikes me like when I have a week like last week where I did two interviews and then the no jumper show and sledge lords and that was my whole week and it feels like that just leaves a lot of time in my week where it's like oh i could do other things and like maybe maybe i kind of need to rewire my brain to have more of like a balance between life and podcasting because i've had weeks where it felt like all i was doing was just talking on camera and that was it and i didn't have fucking a few hours to enjoy myself outside of that which is sometimes kind of overwhelming what about the whole porn thing though isn't that kind of like a third win too I mean, or is that I, just a side quest? It's dope, but it, yeah, side quest. It's it's like it's dope, but it's not something that I'm like. I don't feel like you're passionate about that. I think that was more of like you got introduced to Lena's world, and then you like fuck it, we making money doing this shit, so it is what it is. I think in the long run, what I really want to do with that, and that that's kind of like part of the thing with Plug Talk is like I want to build brands. You know, I want to build businesses. I want to like create things that have a life of their own that don't really like hinge on me being on camera. So like, that's one cool thing about No Jumper. There's a bunch of stuff that's happening on camera with the news and different podcasts that I don't have to be there for. I'm gonna go away for a fucking month on my honeymoon and presumably the business will still be creating a good amount of content. But yeah, like with Plug Talk, that is kind of my goal as well. It's like, oh, can I build this dope porn business that can go beyond just me actually doing porn? For sure, me just fucking is a short term thing or maybe not even short term, but it's definitely not like a big deal to me, you know, it's just kind of something I can do for fun. Yeah. Slash probably. I don't know. I think though, um, you also have different, there's different trajectories of your podcasting career. Cause you know, you started out, you're interviewing rappers and that's pretty much it. Cause you, you like rappers and you know, you want to shed light on cool shit that people aren't up on. And then like you wind up being like this whole podcast empire. And now you're kind of like going in different directions, like entering the political spectrum and just I feel like that's a whole other 
I got to stay interested. So I got to try to like keep doing different stuff. But like, all right, let me answer this question. If you, if someone gave you $10 million right now, serious answers only, what changes in your life? Because that's, to me, that's kind of like the big question is like what you would do in your life if you had like an absurd amount of money where you felt like going to work was just stupid all of a sudden. Like fucking going on Twitch for three hours is, if it's fun, then it still makes sense to do. But if it's not fun, then it's a complete and total fucking waste of time if you have $10 million, right? Because you're just not making enough money to even put a dent in that. I would just expand on everything I'm doing. Yeah. Like I love everything that I'm doing. So I would like, you know, taking the streaming thing, probably buy, um, take the temp, probably buy something like this. Mm. A compound to make my own shit, make that shit happen. You know, more equipment. Just do. I like everything that I'm doing. In but life. see, this, but that's the thing is, I feel like talking on camera is dope. But I've just seen like how the the future of my like business or whatever is not me talking on camera twice as much. Well, for me, the first thing I'm doing is getting out of debt, taking care of any whatever loose ends that I have. Um, you know, buying myself a house, shit like that. And then it's trying to like like he said, slowly build up my all my little um ventures. But really, I'm not gonna like if I got 10 million, I'm not quitting no jumper. But see, okay, but that's the thing. You quitting. But what you, you guys so? but what you guys are saying that you would do is basically like work more. Yeah. yeah. I but, mean but that like once you have ten million dollars, I'm pretty bro, sure your brain is not gonna be like, oh, I wanna work. Let's more. keep it, let's keep it G. But your brain is tuned to that right now because working is like the thing that you're having fun doing and that's the best use of your time. But I'm saying once you have that absurd amount of money, I think you guys are not necessarily seeing how your mind state would have to change because then it has to become more about like, oh, so how do I enjoy my life as much as possible? Well, and maybe working more is not how I get there. You you've done no jumper for what, eight years now? Seven, eight, seven. Eight. You've made way more than ten million dollars with this company, no. and you have. You don't think so? Well, I mean, maybe I've made it, but it's not like I have that. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying. I think right now, if you had ten million dollars in your face right now, you would still be doing the same thing, and you would expand on your shit. Because this shit, like, mm. it doesn't. At times, it can seem like work when you're not actually enjoying it. But for the most part, it's like if you carve out what you want to do for your life. I feel like we all are doing stuff that we want to do. Like. Nobody is holding a gun to our head and saying, don't come on camera today or don't do any more outside shit. It's like, nigga. But $10 million, you could do anything. That, I Let's mean, $100 million. Well, obviously. You could get a yacht. $100 okay. million is different. That is different. $10 million, <laughs> that is, is. 10 million is not as. That is true, yeah. It's a, it's a good, it's a great, it's a big number. Mm. But like right now, I can't stop doing everything I want to do and live off of $10 million. $100 yeah. million you get, is fuck you money. You get $10, 10 million in LA, you like buy a house, yeah, you buy a car, <laughs> and then you got like money, so, a little bit of money in the bank. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. No, here's like the, the real answer, and I've been holding this. 100? Shit. What I really want to do is like, look, I've been in entertainment my whole life. My family's in the entertainment industry. I know that from my trajectory for what I'm doing, I'm not going to be able to make sustainable generational wealth off of entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, like my dad's been retired for like 15 years. You know what I mean? Most of their, like my parents' money that they've been living off of, like they're, that's not going to extend beyond them dying. You know what I mean? Like my brother's made his own fortune. My other brother, he makes money, takes care of himself. I want, I want to start my own empire, long-term sustainable revenue, right? I'm not going to be able to do that in entertainment. I'm going to be able to make a living and continue to make money, but what's going to feed my kids and what can I do simultaneously that's going to give back and leverage the position of all this work in entertainment that I've been doing. And it's quite simple to me. I want to open up sober living houses mm. and like, and that's like, you know, like start the lush one foundation, which is for people that, you know, want to get sober or like, and people that are like musicians or entertainers that need recovery and things like that. And as well as um, people that are in prison, like I have all these different ideas. How do you make money doing that? Insurance companies. There's like the insurance companies pay insane amount of monies, high premiums and all that. So those businesses make a lot of money mm. and you don't have to tax people for it. I would want at least 20% of the people there to be able to get in for free. I'd want to ha um, house people that are coming out of the penitentiary. Like I, I want it to be philanthropic, but also profitable. And I feel like I'm in a great position to do that right now. So with that 10 million, that'd be more than enough to get that cracking. Because I, I already have people that are willing to put up money for it too. So, hmm. so that's the long term goal for for me. Interesting. 
I'm not sure what the long term goal is. I'm still pondering it. You got. You may not ever find it though. I, you're just gonna keep doing different. Shit. I mean, from the out, from an outside perspective, you're in like a really good position to do it because because me, I still have like. I have to worry about my bills. I'm making cool money and shit, but I still have to worry about paying things. And I have debt. Like you like right. don't have to you you have the luxury of just being able to focus on cool okay, shit. Okay, let me say that right? though. This is the thing is that my whole life I was just hustling. I was just working my ass off yeah. and just grinding, making content, trying to run business, et cetera. And it's only now that I feel like some degree of comfort financially or business wise or whatever that I'm kind of like oh, so what do I really want to be doing with my life? Because let's be real, podcasting for a lot of us, it's, yeah, it is fun, but it's also, it's like probably the best thing you could do for your career at any given moment. You know, like the best thing I could do on a given day for my career is probably to come in here and do a bunch of interviews and podcasts like this and everything like that. But it makes me think about like all the different times that I felt like I had figured it all out in life. Like when I was uh, playing online poker when I was 22, and I had freedom because I was able to just, you know, be in my room playing this game and nobody could tell me what to do. And I was doing OK with money wise. And I felt like I had fucking made it. And then I start that BMX website and all of a sudden I'm making like more consistent money and I don't have to worry about like going on a losing streak in poker or whatever. And I'm actually like creating content that my peers care about and people are reacting to my blog posts and my videos and everything like that. And I really found like another level of happiness with that. Then I start No Jumper, and as that keeps going, it's like I'm getting way more attention, way more praise, way more people fucking with my content, way more views, money, et cetera. Start the, you know, we moved the shop to Melrose. All of a sudden, I'm like getting like, I'm, I'm just, I found like a different level of like meaning or of like purpose in that, you know? And then now having a kid and stuff, it's kind of like, oh, now I'm sort of like realizing like, oh, all those years spent hustling and stuff definitely like made you who you are. But at the same time, I just, I don't know, like there's there's an extent to which just hanging out with my kid and my family just more makes important. me more happy than grinding out an extra couple of interviews in a week, which might be kind of like the thing. Like if you're on camera for an extra eight hours out of the week, that eight hours might be the difference between you feeling like you have like a connected personal life with your child versus you kind of feel like... I'm seeing my kid, but I'm not seeing him like as much as I would want to. Or I'm not like necessarily having as much free time to and just be around. And you're a very him, active you know? father, like anyone. I mean, I'm trying to be, yeah. yeah. And, and I don't want to like make my business 10 percent better and make my relationship with mm -hmm. my kid 30 percent worse as a result, it's which I think might really be how it works. And you're the same and it's way definitely too. a balance, and that's even like even like pre-filming this shit for me at least. Now I feel like you mm. know I have more time to spend with my kids. Like I told my baby mama, I was like, look. I was like, drop my son off Tuesday night because I have it freed up now. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, it's little shit like that. And then also, do you feel like, um, you feel like if you quit right now, you could just live off of everything that you accomplished? No, but I could imagine building the business up in a way and like focusing on things that don't really require me to be on camera, you know, which not necessarily like where my heart is at because I like being on camera so much, but I also like know for a fact that I need to find a better balance of me building the business and working on both No Jumper and Plug Talk from like a straight business perspective and then being on camera because I've been traditionally like way better at just doing shit on camera than actually working on shit behind the scenes and everything. Don't you, um, but don't you kind of feel like what that, that's like what I was saying earlier, you've been grinding your whole life. And now you're at a point where you kind of have the luxury to contemplate these things yeah. and put more time into your family. Like me right now, I'm not at that point in my life. Mm. I'm still thugging it out because I have no option. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And when I look at even like where my mental state was at when I had the kid, I was way less secure about everything than I am now. You know, like we kind of did that before I necessarily like, because I always feel like if you can help it, having a kid while you're in a fucked up financial situation is basically like fundamentally irresponsible. Like oh. it, it would be like starting a business while you're in debt. But people you know? do it all the time. Right. Yeah, and, I, I did that shit. I had a fucking <laughs> baby on the way at 19. Right. But I would never, no I, money unplanned. If it happens to you, it happens to you, but I would never want to put myself into that situation. I always felt like I don't want to have a kid until I feel like I'm in a position where like my financial worries or whatever are pretty minimal. I do I do feel like if I didn't have my daughter at that time, I wouldn't be here to talk to you guys. That's what I'm saying. It made you, it changed your it, whole perspective. It, it made me like, okay, I have to get serious with life mm. versus like doing little hustles here and there and, you know, my granny helping me, you know what I'm saying, whenever I'm I'm 
fucked up and shit like that. Like at that point, I was like, okay, I gotta be a fucking dad. And just having that focus at that time stopped me from a lot of bullets. Mm, yeah, because like having the kid in one way made me want to work so much harder, but then it also made me like not want to work as hard. It made me want to like be around her and just like kind of like chill out and enjoy life more in a way. But then at the same time, it also made me like, oh, I need to 100% make sure that financially and everything that she's good no matter what. So, and bro, I envy, like, you know, I've told T Real this before too. Like, I envy T Real that he's able to wake up in the morning and, you know, see it. most, most, because I know he has a kid too that doesn't live with him, but for the most part, he can wake up and see his children. You know what I'm saying? And I was um at dinner the other day and I was talking to my homeboy and he's like, look, I'm coming out with you guys. But I'm going home with my wife and I got my kids and stuff like that. And we were just talking. I'm like, damn, if I could do it all over again, I love my children. I would never switch anything the way that it is. But having that comfort of having your child by this children by the same woman and you know, trying to make that work and be able to just wake up and see your kids every day, sometimes that shit really fucks with you. It gets I was me. just watching that Pamela Anderson documentary on Netflix, and she says that about Tommy Lee, is that she, because she's been married like 10 times, and like just getting divorced over and over and over, and she kind of blames part of it on the fact that she was never able to make things work with Tommy. So she has two kids with him, but never was able to make shit work for whatever reason, and she feels like that kind of like cursed her, Love wise, you know the That's real, real the real love of her life. But, she never got over. Right, but the real question to me is why the fuck she's still getting married ten yeah. times <laughs> later. Like you just don't have to get married. Well, you could just date somebody for a few that's years. Just like It'll so be okay. Fiscally irresponsible too. I mean, like, presumably at this point she's gotten like crazy prenups for every single marriage because otherwise she would clearly just be destroyed financially. It's still I think. stupid lawyer fees and all that shit for every yeah. divorce. It like, can't be a great use of your nah. time or money, right? Well, now like. I'm dedicated like to try to get both of my kids more closer to me living wise so that I can like be there, you know, even if I can't um at least like once a day I can sit there and pick you up from school or do something like that because it's like like with the work schedule, nigga, especially with LA traffic, sometimes even like today. Luckily it was no school today, but on a regular day, if I had to take my son, drive damn near two hours in LA traffic. To, to get him to uh, make sure he gets to school and then got to drive back out here to make it on camera. You know, sometimes I'll be late for the news because I'm like, nigga, this, if accident happened, anything happens, I'm fucked when it comes down to that. So I feel like now if I bring both of my kids, I'm going to pay the extra money. Yeah. Both my BMs like, here, y'all, I don't give a fuck. Y'all can live in the same place. <laughs> y'all can live down the street from each other. But I want to work harder just so I can, you know, do that. For sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, Venice right now to do the man on the street stuff for Plug Talk. Fire. Yeah. You're going to get run up on by so many people. They're going to be like, Adam 22. I am bringing a shooter. We did that before, too. too. And the little kids was fucking with you. That was Santa Monica. Oh, Santa Monica, yeah. Yeah, remember that one kid? Mm -hmm. Fuck Adam 22. I was like, man, do I have to go pound out this 16-year-old little fucker over here who just yelled at it? He like went far away and like yelled it like what a J cat. No, he walked past. You could tell he was looking and but it was fuck like, Adam twenty two. Like a group of kids. I'm, I was just like looking at AD like, damn, are we supposed to go beat him up? I, if you had <laughs> taken three steps towards him, they would have scurried, bro. They would have scattered. No, nah, they probably would have lapped up that lawsuit. Yeah. They would have fucking loved it. Yeah, yeah they would have owned this place. I put a finger on him. Oh my god, they're gonna kill me. All right, on. we out. We out. All right, then. Appreciate everybody. Head on over to nojumper.com and cop some merch or something. Drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, let's go. <laughs>